Hello, 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 hello. Welcome. Welcome, y'all. Dude, it's fucking time. It's fucking time. And we've been waiting for such a long time. And I'm so excited. It's time for Final Fantasy 13 2 for context. Uh, we played the first one on stream. And now it's one of my favorite games of all time. I have heard from multiple sources that this game is even better than 13, which is fucking insane. Um, because 13 is literally like my favorite Final Fantasy game other than 14, but 14, like, I feel like I can't count it with the same ones because it's like constantly updating and always growing and getting better and better. But for the, the, the normal Final Fantasy, like single player experiences, 13 became my favorite on stream like there was a live reaction to me realizing that the game is as good as it is um and yeah i have i have legitimately heard that that the sequel is even better um i have also heard that it's terrible and the worst in the series from other people it seems like not even final fantasy 13 2 could escape the weird like controversy that this series tends to carry with it um but this series is gonna have some ups and downs some twists and turns we might have um i don't want to spoil anything too much but there might be a a very old soda involved can't say for sure but it's possible it's possible um uh, so listen y'all this is this is a big deal for me i love this game uh, or series, I suppose. I love Final Fantasy XIII so fucking much. And I am so excited to experience XIII 2 for the first time. But I need to establish some ground rules. If you have played this game, you are not allowed to tell me anything about it. Please. If you have played this game from start to finish, I do not want to know a single thing about the story, about the characters, about who comes in where and what happens in it. Just do not tell me a goddamn thing. Nothing vague, nothing specific, nothing at all. This is a complete blind playthrough. Um, and I am, I'm just very excited to experience it for the first time. I'm also going to say, um, it's probably going to take me a while to figure out how the combat works because I know it's different from 13. Um, yeah, there is a 13-3, technically. It's called Lightning Returns, not 13-3, but it does exist. Um, and we will be playing it eventually, but let's, let's, let's not count our chickens before they're chickens. Um, so, uh, it's going to take me a while to get used to this, probably. Um, I don't engage with, like, weird uh non-turn-based rpgs super often um but i was able to with enough time and patience figure out the paradigm system for final fantasy 13 and it was very 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 rewarding and i want to have a similar experience here where i probably won't get it at first and i'll probably mess up a lot but eventually i'll get into the groove of things and end up really liking it so please uh, just no backseating. It's not like it's any different from the normal rules, but I feel like I feel the need to reiterate just in case. Um, uh, I just I just I just really want to see what this game has to offer. I'm extremely excited about it. Um, Final Fantasy 13 to this day is like one of my favorite series I've ever done. Um, it's also, to my knowledge, the longest stream series I've ever done. I don't think I've ever played any game for the amount of streams I played Final Fantasy 13 for. Um and uh no the buy badges for Pride Month. That is not that is brand new. I, I put that on there for Pride Month. Um but uh this game probably I know for a fact that it, it is shorter than 13. Uh Final Fantasy 13 to uh, Final Fantasy 13 is like 48 hours and this game is like 28. So it's significantly shorter. Uh, but I still want to give it all the same time and attention and everything that I gave the first game. Um, because goddamn, goddamn, that, that first game is like, it was just a great fucking amazing experience and I'm never going to forget it. Um, it all just makes me very happy and excited and, and I'm, 
longer than Pokemon even. Well, Pokemon isn't like a continuous thing per se. Like, I mean, I mean, it is a continuous thing, obviously, but we're swapping between games. You know, it's not like we're playing the same game through and through. I think if you add it up like all my stream times, I've probably spent the most time in the Pokemon categories um but it's all different games all the time so i i would say that like if we're counting just individual games 13 is probably the longest series i've ever done start to finish of like a long play of a game um and i love it uh but yeah like i said this one's shorter so we're probably gonna get through it faster but i would like to make this sort of our pride month special um obviously we'll be streaming other stuff but um I really want to give this game the time and attention it deserves. And also, I want to boost the hell out of it. I want people to see this. Um, did you knock? Oh, come in. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Oh, no. I'm sandwichless. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Um, uh, y'all. I didn't sleep very much last night at all. Um, and Penny was gracious enough to get me uh, some caffeine. Um, she got me Starbucks ice matcha latte a venti. And it's huge as fuck. I barely slept. Um, and I wanted to have the energy to do this. And honestly, I'm still like feeling all the, the same hype as I would be. I'm just also very sleepy. But I still have this to keep my energy up. Uh, at some point during the stream, I am going to need to step away um, to get some kind of food. Because um, I have only had like a small breakfast sandwich today and like a little bowl of cereal. So I am a bit I'm a bit on the hungry side and I was supposed to get a sandwich with Starbucks, but they ran out and they didn't even tell us until the food got here. Travesty. Um, so, yeah, just just giving you a little insight. If I seem a little low energy, I actually don't know if I will be low energy because I'm like ready to have some some fun times and good times. Um, but just in case, if I do happen to come off as EP and sleepy at some point, you know why. Um, but yeah, just to be be patient with me because I'm very sensitive. It's very, very eepy. So, um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get into the grits. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to talk about. First of all, happy pride, y'all. Uh, if you are feeling fucking LGBT in the chat right now, um, fucking shout out, shout out to you for being an LGBT. Um, I. Uh, <laughs> I think I can't stop thinking about that stream we did. It was the art stream where I was showing off my Final Fantasy VII OC uh, tulip, and we kept on calling her like like a proud member of the LGBT community, just like enunciating every syllable in it. Um, uh, and yeah, I I want to carry that energy through the whole month. Um, LGBT with the QIA. Oh yeah, we got that QIA. And let me tell you, the A stands for arrow, the A stands for ace, all that good shit. Not ally, sorry. Allies are still welcome to show up, but are uh, you the you you uh, you can you can have a letter when you've earned it. Uh so uh you know, just go go ahead and um go ahead and uh uh kiss a girl just if you're a girl kiss a girl if you're a boy kiss a boy then you're 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 in that's it that's all it takes then you can have a letter we'll give you one homework <laughs> um listen listen oh the a also stands for among us Is there we need an among us pride flag that that exists. Hang on a second. Google. Google. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Among Us. Pride flag. Oh, 
Okay, so it doesn't seem that anyone has made a pride flag for people who play Among Us, but there is pride flag colored Among Us, which I guess I should have expected. Um, <laughs> the I stands for imposter. <laughs> um, sorry, I just saw a tweet that completely captured and enraptured my fucking entire brain. Um, it says, uh, Final Fantasy Advent Children director Nomura says, Americans seem to have a compulsion to explain everything for there to be some clear logic for why things are how they are. He thinks Japanese sensibilities allow for reality-defying action like you see in Advent Children. But here's the problem. That movie fucking blows. Anyways, um, <laughs> I, I, I tried to watch it with Mar and I hated it. I used to watch that movie every day when I was in high school. And I tried to watch it with Mar the other night. And like, I don't know. Here's the thing is, I think he has a point. I think he has a point. He's, he's correct. Because you see his story, like, structure philosophy in kingdom hearts and it is executed so fucking well but i would argue that like final fantasy 7 advent children is an embarrassing display of that kind of like storytelling like he's right he's right the man is correct but that movie is not a good movie <laughs> Anyways, sorry, I was just, I saw that, so I had to comment on it. Can't tell me cornrows plus fishnet ba shirt Barrett doesn't rule, though? Of course it does! There's a lot of great stuff in that movie. I just also think it's not the best. Ah, Poppy! Happy Pride! Happy Pride, Happy Pride! Love the PS3 game? Yeah, that's what we're doing today! I, uh, I have never played this game, and I'm so excited for it. Uh, I'm on the edge of my freaking seat right now. Um, speaking of, we should probably get into the grits. If we're gonna get into the grits, we gotta get into the grits. Here's the grits. Uh, oh yeah, Penny let me use, uh, her PS3. Cause I actually, a few months ago, it was like while we were playing Final Fantasy XIII. Uh, Jutes Terra, thank you so much for the primmy subby. Um, uh, while we were playing Final Fantasy XIII, I actually went to the game gamer store, and they had a used copy of the collector's edition of Thirteen Two that comes with like an art book and a four disc soundtrack and this really nice collector's case. Um. So I already had the game, and I was literally just like, Penny, can I use your PS3? And she was like, yeah, here you go. So that's how we're doing this. Let me just make sure the audio is going to pick up. Yeah, yeah, you could hear that. You could hear that. Let's go. Let's do this. No more waiting. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, okay. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah. Yes. The fuck is this? I don't understand. Oh! We're in it. We're in it, y'all! That's, that's Square Enix! Do you know Square Enix? I know Square Enix. They're the people who make video game... Dude, this shit is gonna own. I'm turning. I might. My face tracking might get a little worse. I'm literally turning down my light so I can see the screen with as much clarity as possible. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is cool. She's so cool. And she's like a character that she can... Oh my god. <laughs> she's so hot. <laughs> hey, this stream goes out to women. Who the fuck is this kid? <clears throat> he was the best guy around. What murder? <laughs> It's like Final Fantasy VII, kind of. Oh, with more disintegration. Sir, you need to speak up. Oh, he's saying all kinds of stuff. You could just tell. You could just tell he's saying all kinds of stuff. Oh yeah, no, this song rules. How's the volume? Is it is the game is the game too loud or is this good? Thank you. Thank you, gamers! Thank you, Cherries! Maybe a bit too loud? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll touch it up just a teeny bit. There we go. That should be fine. Oh! I guess it's done. Oh my god. It, we're, it's happening! DLC? What's the DLC? We get like a cool outfit. Opponent? Face the dreaded Omega in the Colosseum. Use the crystals of defeated foes to summon them as allies in battle. Oh, shit! So you can get summons for this. Face lightning? Psycom officer... Oh, this might be... Oh, shit! Ultras and Typhoon? Like, uh... Like that one... Like Final Fantasy XIV. Except I, I think they're from an earlier game. Casino content. There's a casino. Oh, that's exciting. All right, hang on. We got this. Is the outfits? This is what we gotta see. <laughs> oh my god! Final Fantasy. No. They're from FF6. Cool. Oh, that's cute. These are great. Cool weapons. Alright, well, we can worry about that later. Beginner's Primer. Should we do a Beginner's Primer? What is the Beginner's Primer? 
themes? We can unlock PS3 themes. It's a recap. Do we want to recap? I feel like we should recap. How do you buy that stuff is if the story is down? I don't think it is down, is it? Let's do a recap. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, it's a red story. We have to read it. Cocoon, a utopia oh, no, it's, no, we don't. Okay. The populace live a life of ease That's super under quiet. the protection of almost godlike beings known as the Foul Sea. The lower world, Pulse, over which Cocoon floats, is believed to be a land both hostile and uninhabitable. One day, on Cocoon, a dangerous Pulse Foul Sea is uncovered in the seaside settlement of Bodum. The governing body, known as the Sanctum, announces that all residents of the town are now contaminated. The purge is enacted, legislation that requires every citizen from the affected area to be forcibly relocated to Pulse. Wow! The purge has begun. A band of young rebels emerges to oppose the army and its attempt to exile innocent civilians to Pulse. Moving through the midst of the confusion is Lightning, a soldier who fights against the Sanctum's forces, along with Saz, a middle-aged man with his own purpose. She makes I love Saz! The structure where the Pulse Foul Sea was found. In that lower world vestige, her sister Sarah is being held prisoner. Others also converge on the same location. Snow, Sarah's fiance. Hope, the teenager who watched his mother perish. And Vanille, a young girl of unknown origin. All those who would play a part in Cocoon's future are unknowingly drawn together. Cool. Falsi possessed the power to transform humans into a cursed Lassie. Both lightning and snow have entered the vestige to rescue. This is making Sarah me fucking such a fate. like nostalgic. As if guided by an unseen force, the would-be saviors arrive in the. No, that world building was great, and the character building, all that shit was amazing. Video. Final Fantasy there Thirteen owns. Discover a bewildered Sarah, only to witness her transformation into crystal. Lightning, driven by rage at losing her sister, hurls herself at the Pulse Foul Sea. She is joined in the battle by a determined Saz, who has his own reasons for wanting the Foul Sea destroyed. The battle with the Pulse Entity changes the destiny of the five new companions forever. They have become Lassie, cursed servants of the Foul Sea. All Lassie are given a focus. Those who complete this focus are turned into crystal. Those who fail, however, are doomed to become <clears throat> mindless monsters. Their master is an enemy of Cocoon. Are they now fated to destroy their own home? As the others sink into depression, only Snow retains a positive outlook. Yeah, and then Lightning punches Sarah's him in the face three times. For them to protect Cocoon is their true focus. Snow stays behind to protect her crystal while Lightning and the rest attempt to break through the army's rapidly closing net. Wow! Lightning and her companions, now enemies of the state, are pursued by... Bro, the forces. enemies of the state! The former soldier makes a decision. Rather than be hunted down, she vows to take the fight to Cocoon's capital and slay the Falci in charge of the government. The young boy Hope, drawn by Lightning's strength, chooses to follow her. Saz and Vanille choose another route and flee through the vile peaks. Meanwhile, Snow is captured by an army unit under the guidance of a mysterious woman known as Fang. Fang mentioned! Fang mentioned! Cavalry, a group that professes to be an ally of Lassie. Shit, I skipped one. With no let, me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. As part of their journey towards the capital and the Fang moment, Fancy, Lightning and Hope enter the Gabra Whitewood. 
God, remember that scene where? Oh my God, I'm thinking about the fucking LGBT metaphors in Final Fantasy 13. Remember when Hope like visits his dad and he's all scared that like since he's been keeping this like Lacy thing secret that his dad is gonna hate him, but then he accepts him and loves all of his friends and he loves his son and he helps him. That shit. Metaphors, babe. Metaphors. It fucking. Oh. God damn. With no place else to go, Saz and Vanille These screens are really pretty. The Sunlith Waterscape. Saz eventually spills his story to Vanille. He explains that he joined the fight for the sake of his son Dodge, who had been chosen as a Lassie servant by a Sanctum Falci. Saz thought that if he could defeat an enemy of Cocoon, he might release his son from his focus. After hearing his story, Asterisk King, thank you so much for the sub for 31 months. Both she and Fang are pulseless and enemies of Cocoon. Their presence near the Sanctum Falci is the reason Dodge was cursed in the first place. However, she cannot bring herself to tell Saz the truth. And nothing bad happens after that. <laughs> With the help of the cavalry, Fang searches for the other Lacy. She has a debt to pay. Her lost memory and forgotten focus were the reason Sarah was cursed by the Falci. The Grand Pulse native later encounters Lightning in the city of Palampolum and apologizes for Sarah's fate. Lightning's response is a blow to the jaw. Elsewhere, hmm. Hope finally gets up the courage it usually to is. Snow. The teenager is consumed with his lust for revenge and attacks the Nora leader. Despite the boy's actions, Snow puts himself in danger, protecting Hope from an army airstrike. The four Lassie God, I thought I was going to hate Hope's storyline where he, like, father. hates Snow, but, they like, it's so good at this point in the game. It gets so fucking great. A future rather than dwelling on the past. <laughs> All right, almost done. In Nautilus, this the, city the worst Dreams chapter of the game right here. Neil's frantic flight from the sanctum comes to an abrupt end. Dodge, now in the custody of the army, has used his Lassie powers to track down his father. The boy turns to Crystal upon completing his focus to locate an enemy of Cocoon. <clears throat> A Psycom officer appears before the unbelieving Saz and tells him the truth. Vanille is the reason his son was made into a Lassie. Vanille admits her guilt. She offers no resistance when Saz raises his pistols to fire. But Saz realizes her death will change nothing and lets <clears throat> Vanille go. Such mercy is all he has left to give. God. Yeah, no, I fully agree. Like, like the beginning of Final Fantasy thirteen, I was like, why are all these characters so mean to each other? But then, like, they just get so good. An assault on the Sanctum flagship. The, the LGBT chapter. The LGBT chapter. And After a long search, Fang is finally reunited with Vanille. The six Lassi then fight through the ship's defenses and come face to face with the Primarch, <clears throat> representative of the Sanctum. However, the truth that he reveals Look at them. Look at them. They're on the screen together. The Primarch, who they thought to be human, is actually a powerful Falci by the name of Barthandalus. The Falci also shocks them with the knowledge that their focus is, in fact, the destruction of Cocoon. Barthandalus guides the Lassi to a vestige the hidden... The Gigapope! <laughs> it's the Gigapope! <laughs> I wonder if we'll get another Gigapope to fight. Probably not. They can only use that trope uh once the in the series. Encounter Sid Reigns, the commander of the cavalry. Sid Reigns, the monster infested fifth arc. He explains that should they complete their focus and destroy Cocoon, then countless lives will be lost. This sacrifice is necessary to draw a deity known as the Maker back into the world. Reigns then reveals himself as a Lucy of Barthandalus. The soldiers of the cavalry had been mere puppets of the Falci. Now, however, the commander is acting under his own human will. To prevent Cocoon's destruction, he attacks Lightning and her friends. Although he is ultimately defeated, 
Rain still turns to crystal. He shows them how the fate of a Lassine can be overcome. That was already chapter 10? I feel like that was, like, earlier in the game. Uh, fucking Grand Pulse, baby! Best <laughs> chapter in anything Pulse, ever! Grand Pulse, the terrifying yes. lower world that the people of Cocoon speak of in whispers. Seeking for a way to overcome their cruel fate, the companions travel to Erba, Fang and Vanille's hometown. There, they uncover an ancient prophecy that tells how Fang and Vanille attacked Cocoon several <clears throat> centuries in the past. It also speaks of how they entered into crystal stasis and later awoke, once again driven to destroy the floating shell. All their actions recorded and prophesized, but no mention of how to avert the catastrophe. But if they refuse to fight, then Cocoon will fall. Readying themselves for the conflict to come, the Lassi head for Cocoon's capital once more. Yes! All right, then Eden. In the capital city of Eden. Yeah. Rose, though he wishes for the independence of Fucked mankind, up chapter. He's a helpless tool of the Falci. And the soldiers of the cavalry who trusted him have now risen in revolt. They mean to slay Orphan, the Falci that lies at the center of Eden, unaware that its death would mean the destruction of Cocoon. To prevent this cruel catastrophe, Lightning and her fellow Lucy battle through the streets in pursuit of the vengeful soldiers. They finally catch up with the cavalry, <clears throat> only to see them transformed into hideous seeth. Only one thing remains to be done. The Making me realize I really like the word cocoon? Good-ass word. All that has transpired. Oh yeah, Lightning did get dead named by the Pope. That was weird. Orphan's Cradle! Companions claim victory over the mighty Barthandalus, but in doing so, awaken Orphan. God, that boss fight was so fun. Aloft. Their first battle with Orphan ends <clears throat> in failure, but through the sheer force of their belief, the six rise to fight again. They have the power to make miracles happen and the strength to change their fate. Awaken to the power within them, the Lassi achieve the impossible and defeat Orphan. At the moment of the Falci's death, Cocoon begins to plummet towards Grand Pulse. Then a miracle occurs. Fang and Vanille undergo a transformation into a great crystal pillar that halts the fall of Cocoon. As the dust settles, Sarah is freed from her crystal stasis and greeted by Lightning's smiling face. Or so it was meant to be. What do you mean, or so it was meant to be? What the fuck? <gasps> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. Yo, it's happening! It's happening! Final Fantasy 13 2 will automatically save your progress during autosave. You can eat a cheese. Thank you. I am I'm literally kicking my feet. I'm kicking my little feet. Oh man, y'all. It's happening, dude. Oh my god. <coughs> I'm gonna die. Hurry, hurry, hurry. That time was lost, yet time continued onward. Thirteen. Yeah, this is the PS3 version. Divine Etro, go peacefully <clears throat> to your rest. I will stand guard over your legacy. Realm is awash with sadness. 
Life and death lose all meaning under the rolling waves of chaos. Valhalla. The currents of time do not touch its shores. Why? 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 In this world of lost moments, I begin my life anew. Why are you so it sad, Core? It was never your desire. Is that not so? You. Whoa! What? Oh, man. What the fuck? I turn it down a little bit. Warrior goddess. Now we cross swords. Warrior goddess. Lose yourself in battle and rejoice. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what's happening either, but I'm- this is hype. I don't care. You read that! She's so cool. She's awesome. She's fucking epic with it. Let's go! Is the volume good? As it is? Yeah, yeah, let's- let's learn the battle basics. My controller turn off?
Time does not stop during battle. The ATB gauge charges continuously over time. Oh shit, we have like five. Oh my god, we have six fucking bars. Characters perform abilities in battle by expending segments of the ATB gauge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, we know. Automatically set optimal commands. Abilities may manually set commands. Select auto battle to set commands automatically. Yar. Chaos Bahamut lightning strike. Ooh. Oh, the target is Chaos Bahamut. Uh, lightning strike has been set twice. The expended amount... Yeah. Select a target to attack when fighting foes. Use blah blah blah. There's only one foe in this instance. Press X to unleash the lightning strike command twice. A touch quiet. Can somebody... Can I, somebody just take a clip for me? Can somebody take a clip right now at this volume and let me know how this, like, stacks up. Awesome. Let's fucking go. We're in it. We're back. We're so back. Snipe, 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 snipe. Oh my god. Yes. Actually, yeah. Yeah, a clip like during this this like action segment would be perfect. Snipe, 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 snipe. Not kidding around, huh? Earl's shield. I'm getting my ass kicked a little bit. Oh, that's a heal. Okay, hang on. Let me check out this audio test. hear me okay at this volume, right? I'm... Yeah. Okay, yeah, you can, like, you can, like, hear me over the game. That's fine. That's perfect. Oh, shit. Wait, I gotta turn the game audio back on. I Kill this idiot! Snipe, 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 snipe! Come on, come. Ow! He keeps interrupting my second lightning strike. It's so embarrassing. Just die. <laughs> die. Here we go! Frames! Dude, I love frames and having them. Especially when those frames are displayed at a rate. Ooh! Cinematic action! Oh, oh we got QTEs now. Very cool. Explode! <sighs> yeah, the explosion had the load. Oh, he's mayoed. He's mayoed. Let's not waste time. 
Here we fucking go. This is supposed to be the most stable version of the game. I wonder why the frame rate is like this. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? The goddess made a wise choice. Hours of chaos bend to my will. The game is just like this? Okay. I'm glad it's nothing on my end. Choices. Oh, you have choices in this game. Cool. Now I love choices in making them. Gun. I made a mistake. Gun was not the right choice. Cinematics, but you can still see all the stats and the damage numbers. It really makes it feel like it's part of the game. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Get crushed by a building. Metro's gate. Wow, it's so fun to be back in the realm of not knowing what the fuck is happening. Of course. The one from the vision. Hi, the one! I know your name. No Christ. Who the hell is this? No Christ? Your gender just dropped directly from the sky. <laughs> we'll save you falling, pretty boy. Ooh, he's back. Ooh, he's mayoed. He's mayoed. Quickly. What in the? What the goddamn? <laughs> Valhalla? And that brought you here. Valhalla? How did you know? From Valhalla, I can see everything. But who are you? Lightning. Oh, here we go. This is so cool. This is such a, like, it's such a fun, like, set piece for the first opening battles is to be, like, riding on Odin and fucking shooting lasers. <laughs> so cool. Wow! 
gonna get worse. Inferno? Gravitation mines? Sure. Oh, shit. Dude, get gravitated. Get focus bolted. Where's Benediction? Oh, Benediction, that's like a healing thing. Yay! The children yearn for the gravitation mines. They're very cool, even though I don't know what's happening. That's like the Final Fantasy 13 uh, opening vibe. Because that's kind of how the, the previous game opens, where it's like a bunch of crazy shit happens and you kind of have to figure out what's going on afterwards. I never said that. Gravitation mines! Oh, he's fucked. Oh, he's fucked. Do not, do not, do not leave me alone! <laughs> Yo, five stars, baby! Our first five star fight. Isn't that great? Isn't that amazing? Gamers hate, um, yeah, Americans hate this, this version of telling a story. And gamers. They're so scared of it. <clears throat> Lightning, I missed you so much. <laughs> I blew you a kiss. How do we fight him? This is not your battle. There's something else I need you to do. What? Bring my sister to me. Her <gasps> name is Sarah. Okay. You'll need to use the portal. Your time gazing friend should have told you how it works. Uh, Kumo510, thank you for the follow. But welcome, welcome. Why me? Because you're the only one who can. You crossed the void and made it to Valhalla. You can find Sarah, and together you can change the future. Wait. Man, what is happening? I can change the future? Yes. Oh. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Ah, it's a mogul! Way. You got it. I'll track her down. What's happening? Enjoying your little task. Yeah, actually, it's been nice. <laughs> Caius? Caius? Like Gaius? Get to the gate. Caius Van you. Belsar? Okay. Queen Rhodes, thank you for the, uh, the tier room for five months. Thank you, thank you. Odin. Do it. What the? Ah! Holy shit. Sarah. Bro, such devastation. Lightning. With you, Noel Kreis. Become an arrow through time and speed your way to Sarah. Be there for her because I no longer can. Like, lightning just got fucking d obliterated, so now we have to change the past so she doesn't get obliterated. That's it. That's the goal. That's the goal here. <clears throat> 
Want to know what happens next? Yeah, me too. Yeah, what a fucking opening. And then the title fuck the title screen comes up. That's crazy. Let's let's fucking go. Yeah, I'm playing it. It's happening. Time yeah, she got such devastation. In a world where I no longer exist, the future is about to change. Is this the beach from the first one? It looks like it. <clears throat> Here comes the big thing. Sarah, the truth still survives, but only you remember it. Oh my god, what? Oh, something happened. Something fucked up happened between the first game and this. Sarah! What the fuck? Such a strange dream. Sarah, you good? If I leave you here, you good? What? What was that? Hmm? Where did these clothes come from? She just had a magical girl transformation. Let's go. Let's fucking go. out there camera settings customize your camera standard or camera controls current scheme standard moving up moving down left right that's that's good up you can adjust your camera settings at any time no thank you all right. Oh, data log. Okay, let, let's get our shit together. Let's get our bearings. All right, significant persons. Lightning. Lightning is Sarah's older sister and a former soldier. She is also one of the Lassie who helped stop the fall of the Skyborne Paradise cocoon, saving millions of lives in the process. Three years ago, one of the supernatural Falci gave Lightning a focus in order to destroy Cocoon. She resisted her fate, however, and protected her floating home. Shortly after those events, Lightning ceased to exist in this world. Most believe that she gave her life in return for Co Cocoon's salvation. I don't remember that! I don't remember that one! Sarah is Lightning's younger sister. Three years ago, she unwilling, unwittingly became a part of events that threatened the entire world and was eventually saved by her older sibling. Sarah is still unable to accept the fact that Lightning is gone. She left her home on Cocoon and now lives as a teacher in the Grand Pulse Frontier town of New Bodum. Sarah is engaged to the Nora leader, Snow, but current circumstances prevent them from being together. Ah, oh, something, something changed between the, the last game and this one. Something fucked up happened. Nora is a vigilante group of young do-gooders. Oh man, it's all the, it's the squad. They're here. The fucking squad is here. Uh, no strangers to uh, no strangers defending for themselves. The group went to found the set settlement of New Bodum in the harsh environment of Pulse. Nora consists of four core members: the intimidating Godot, Snow's right hand man, the amiable good maker Yuge, uh, the mechanical genius Maki, and the Nora House resident. Uh, Chef Lebro. Um, Snow, Nora's founding member, is presently away from New Bodum. Huge. <laughs> Fucking huge. Society, Falci and Lassi. The Falci are supernatural entities that once governed the floating paradise of Cocoon. These godlike beings possess the power to curse humans, transforming, transforming them into Lassi. Lightning and Sarah were once enslaved as Lassi and given the task of destroying Cocoon. Uh, Lassie are the cursed human servants of the Falci. Those chosen to serve find their bodies marked with a brand and are given orders in the form of a vague vision. This vision is uh, known as a focus. And Lassie are granted magical powers in order to fulfill their abstract destiny. 
Three years ago, mankind stared into the face of extinction when Cocoon almost crashed into the surface of Pulse. The sphere's fall was halted by Lightning's companions, Fang and Vanille. Their desperate sacrifice summoned a massive pillar that cradled the plummeting Cocoon in its crystalline branches, averting an unimaginable disaster. The two Lysine now sleep within the pillar in crystal form, and there are some who believe Lightning slumbers alongside them. What happened to Lightning? Cocoon is a massive sphere constructed and set in the sky by the powerful and enigmatic beings known as the Falci up until zero AF. It was a floating uh, paradise that was home to several million people. Now, however, the broken shell rests on an immense crystal pillar bereft of the power source that once kept it aloft. The interior of the sphere has deteriorated, forcing the population to relocate to the land below. Oh, wow. So they, they actually didn't save Cocoon. They just saved all the people inside of it. It apparently became uninhabitable after the events of the first game. But I guess that makes sense because they killed the Falci that was like powering the entire thing. New Bodum is one of the settlements built by immigrants from Cocoon on the shores of Pulse. Many of its residents, including Sarah Farron, are former inhabitants of Cocoon's seaside town of Bodum. Okay, so it's not the same town. It's just made to look like the same town. Sarah's fiance, Snow, chose the settlement's name. The members of this group, Nora, help work the fields and protect the townspeople from roaming monsters. Um, we don't need this. <clears throat> ah, she's so cool! She's so cool! Look at her! She's in the game! Wait, wait, outfits? Outfits? Oh my god, there's an outfit section? There's an outfit section! There's an outfit section! Oh my god! I'm so fucking happy. I thought the outfits were just DLC, but these are like actual outfits we get to We get to play dress up! I'm so happy. Oh my god, a carbuncle plushie. Remember the carnival had them in the first game? Or the, the gold saucer-like? That's fantastic. Oh my god. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Open up. Sarah Farron is fucking out on the town. Live trigger. Dreams of strange world's clothes appearing from nowhere. What's going on? Was that a vision of the future? Am I still dreaming? A message from lightning? Is someone coming here? A message from lightning? We get to make choices, dude. A message from the other side. <clears throat> no. She can't be dead. These clothes. Are they from the other side as well? Yay! I can run at full speed now. We got girl jumps! Oh my god, we got girl jumps! We did it! <laughs> <clears throat> What's happening? Uh oh, I've been transported to the demon realm. I think this is the future. What the fuck? This is horrifying. What the fuck? Oh no, Sarah! <gasps> Number of girl sads. One. The squad. Come on, everyone. <clears throat> Holy shit! What is that? Take that. Please, no. 
Oh my god. Her Gios, dude! Her Gios is awakened! Yay! Thank you, Lebro. I love you. You have to look after yourself now. Do you hear me? Your sister's dead. She can't help you. The bro, a little more sensitive, please. Then you're gonna have to go through me. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm so fucking psyched. I'm so psyched. Oh my god. This is so sick. Get up, Sarah. Save it for later. Can you fight? Um, if I have to? You're gonna have to. <laughs> if I have to? Yeah, uh, you thing. do. <laughs> Lightning says hi. And wait to die. <laughs> okay. Dude, let's fucking go. Awesome. Oh my god. Wait, straight up? Paradigm shifts? Yes! Yes, dear! We got paradigm shifts! Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so fucking happy. We got paradigm shifts. It's back. It's fucking back, dude. That makes me so happy. <gasps> you can get that bow in 14. Star Seeker. Oh, you have to buy it. Oh, that's sick, though. That's sick as hell. Oh, that's sick as hell, though. Oof. Three dollars. Someday. Someday I'll have three dollars to spend. Today is not that day. I'll save you, Godot. I'll save you, Godot. Don't even worry about it. Dolph now, Bard main. Actually, Bard is like my lowest level class, and I'm not even kidding. I like... <laughs> Physical range DPS is like Avatar Aang trying to learn earthbending. Like, it's gonna happen so slowly, because I do not like phys... I, don't, I already dislike DPS mostly, uh, except for some rare cases. And... Physical range DPS is like the opposite of what I'm like into, so probably not gonna be a bard main. Although, something interesting Red Mage has a lower DPS rate than bard now. Red Mage is the new lowest DPS, uh, which is insane because when I picked up Red Mage, I was shocked at how much damage I was doing compared to when I played um, Dragoon. I do not need a tutorial for the paradigm shifts. I already know. Although I do forget what Sentinel does. I'll have to I'll have to take a look after this. Oh, oh, that's the aggro one. Twin shields. Slash and burn. Let's slash and burn. Yeah, there we go. That's how you stagger. Let's fucking go. Nice. Nice. Oh my god, we're back in it. It deserves to be the worst. Oh, because it's fun. Yeah, I guess so. I just I just want to tank all the time. If I'm being honest, somebody asked my for my favorite my top four classes in 14 and straight up or my top five my top five classes and i said i said warrior paladin uh dark knight gunbreaker and then astrologian um i just gotta be honest i gotta live my truth 
We saved Godot. Where's Huge? Is Lebro okay? Let's find out. Hey, Lebro, are you good? If I leave you here, you good? <laughs> Lebro, Lebro, are you good? If I leave you here, you good? Lebro. <laughs> Well, bro, you good? I'll hope that she is. Oh, I'll save you. Slash and burn, baby. Nice. Nice. The fucking high DPS build. Already. <laughs> Tell LeBro that Lightning isn't gonna save her while she's keeled over. Come on, LeBro, get up! Lightning's dead, she's not gonna help you! Fucker. I'm sorry, LeBro. I was just very pent up angries because you were so mean to me before, but I understand you only did it because you're mean to me. I understand that you only said that stuff to me because you hate me and you want me to die. Oh, I fucking sidestepped into that. <clears throat> Slash and burn, baby. We're gonna need a medic, right? I wonder how that's handled, because we don't have medic on our paradigm shift board. It's very funny that Sarah is probably the best fighter here just by being with C, and yet she's never fought before, but she can fucking shoot fire out of her fingertips. Hell yes. She never got a summon though, did she? All right, hang on a second. Okay, we do not, oh, they level up individually now. We only have provoke, we have no heals. We have a bestiary, data log. Yeah, I guess I guess we'll just keep going. Just when the boss is out of town. Just when the boss is out of town. He was the best guy around. What about all the people he murdered? What murder? How am I supposed to get five stars on these fights? It's like I have like three attacks to my name. I also love Sarah. Sarah's great. The demons! The demons are here! Sarah! Are you okay? Yeah. Mackie! Yeah. Gotta go. Okay. Bye, Mackie. She has friends. All right, everyone, listen up. The meteorite hit over there. Right. We're gonna check it out. Team Yuge, ready to roll. Well, and careful. That area's crawling with monsters. So stay close. Come on. Okay. Right. You heard him. Move out. With you. You're okay. She took a hit, but she's gonna be fine. She just needs some rest. Thank you. Thank goodness. And thank you. Whoever you are. 
No. No Christ. Okay. And before I forget, it wasn't just me. You should probably thank this little guy too. <laughs> Moogle time! Uh, Yay! <laughs> wow, is that a toy Moogle? <gasps> no, a real Moogle. Must be your lucky charm. Your sister gave him to me. Wait, you know Lightning? Mm -hmm. She's the one who told me to come here. Where? Where did you see her? Was it Valhalla? Yeah, how'd you guess? I saw it in a dream. I saw my sister. She gave you the Moogle. Then the meteorite came. And dragged me along with it, I guess. Do you mean you actually rode here on that meteorite? Maybe. I don't know. Damned if I can remember. Why don't we go and check it out? Okay. Hell yeah. <clears throat> now I know for sure. Lightning is alive. She's in a place called Valhalla. I'd only just met Noel, but I believed him. I believed every word he said. Even though it couldn't possibly be true. She just wanted somebody to confirm her biases that lightning is okay. But also she saw it in a dream, so it's fine. Her blessing for Snow and me to get married. Oh. But I'm the only one who ever remembers. Dude, the floating orbs, the Wheatleys are back. The Wheatleys are back. They say from when I slept in the crystal. An illusion. They say my sister is gone. <clears throat> but three years ago, she sacrificed herself to stop the fall of Cocoon. She turned into the crystal pillar that holds Cocoon above the surface of Pulse, and saved both worlds. That's what they say. But even so... When Sarah had that vision of the future... Wait, hang on. Oh, Is that all, you're going to all the music! Whoa! Whoa! What do you do? I'm a hunter. I feel like an interrogator. Do you mind me asking? Shoot. <laughs> what the hell? Are you kidding me? Dude. Sugar, corn syrup, and gelatin. Sorry, I was opening up a website online on internet. And it's it's playing videos without my permissions. Um. Okay. Uh. So. <laughs> what I wanted to say was. Um. During the scene where Sarah was seeing the vision of the future, it made me think of this. This is- this is- this is Sarah's reaction. Hang on. <laughs> this is so important. <laughs> it's so quiet. Wait, can we turn it up somehow? Can we turn it up somehow? It's so quiet. Life is nothing that I thought it should be and everything I feared it would become because for 50 seconds I thought there was monsters on the world. Uh, that's from the new um, I Think You Should Leave season. It's very fucking funny. I think about that quote like 900 times a day now. <clears throat> Well, TikTok does have a volume slider, and it's all the way up already. Yeah, Tumblr's, Tumblr's bad, though. Tumblr has no excuse. I can't interact with these. They're, they're all green dots on the map, but they're just... 
They're just busted up robots. <clears throat> Dude, we could just have conversations with NPCs. I don't know him. Who, my Moogle friend? That's okay. Not, not many people do. Godot and the others left to investigate the meteorite. Were you Jinmaki with him? Yeah. I think Dude, this music is fucking. The path is what? In fallen trees. I'm like, I'm he like fucking. I don't even know what to say. This music is insane. <clears throat> We've never seen anything like him before. It took him seconds to turn our sentry bots into scrap metal. Dude, for 50 mean, seconds the there were monsters on the world. Monsters appeared. That's right. Godot and the others went to check out the. It's right outside town along the mountain path. That way, over towards Cocoon. Dude, this is nuts! This is actually fucking nuts! I wonder if this soundtrack really is unbelievable. And I have the fucking collector's edition that comes with a fucking four disc soundtrack. I just have this. This is unbelievable! I'm like, my jaw's on the fucking floor! <clears throat> Curiosity killed the cat, you know. Tell me about Valhalla. I don't know much about it myself. It's not like I lived there or anything. The legends say it lies at the end of time, in the distant future. That it's the realm of the dead. The realm of the dead? Does that mean lightning is out of my reach for good? I'm not trying to hide anything. Why would you say that? Because now I think I, you put the idea in my head. Now I think you are trying to hide something. What the fuck? Mod clock. What? What's the mod clock? Sure, yeah. Take tutorial. Whenever monsters suddenly materialize, the mod clock appears and pro progresses through the following indicators. Green, the enemy is immobile and preemptive strike as possible. If you attack successfully, you will begin the battle with bonuses. Yellow, enemy is moving and ready for battle. Coming into contact with the enemy will begin a standard battle. Time's up. Enemy is fully alert and attacks. When time runs out, the battle begins automatically. You cannot select retry for battles that begin in this manner. Interesting. You can attack any enemies within the encounter circle. Press X to initiate battle when a thingy is fucking around. I missed the, uh, the early strike. Oh, no, I didn't. Weird. Oh, we need to slash and burn. Dude, remember these guys? They were in Final Fantasy 13 1. All right, let's kill this idiot. No. What is this track called? Do we know? Wow. wow. Jumping is a little weird. Oh, yeah, wow. Legend. Can't believe I'm really here. When exactly are you from, dude? Monsters, monsters. I want to go this way first, because it's obviously not the objective. Opportunity strikes are oh yeah no this is this is a blind run completely blind I have no idea what happens in this game yeah no cocoon in the distance it looks so fucking cool this music is so sick I'm like I can't even believe it what is happening dude it's called full speed ahead awesome is this soundtrack on Spotify it better be. It better be on Spotify. 
The soundtrack just gets better and better. <gasps> Dude, I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy right now. So we're supposed to head for the cocoon, right? Got him. Okay, slash and burn. I hope we get Libra at some point. My biggest fear is that the paradigm system won't be as fleshed out as it was in uh, 13, but this is literally just the beginning of the game, so I have some high hopes. I have some very high hopes. Hello. Wheatley! Item acquired. Map of New Bodom. Oh, awesome. Chocobo! Battle system is like a step up. Ooh! You know what's weird? It kind of sounds like the slashing sound effect in the overworld is like bit crushed a little bit. It sounds a little crispy. I don't know why. Oh man, the enemy is using Ruin. Interesting. All right, let's do this. Hello there. Hello there. Hey. Sarah. Didn't think you were the adventure Sarah. Type. Uh, I'm going on an adventure as we speak, huh? so don't even question it. <clears throat> Hi, Goodell. Sarah. Still in one piece? We're seeing lots of unfriendly critters around that meteorite. Just walking uh, away uh, mid sentence. Who's this? Oh, this is Noel. He helped Lebro and me out of a tight spot. Is that right? You want a gun, Noel? Hey, I'm Godot. Okay, take it easy, big guy. What the I fuck? I am not here to make trouble for anyone. Why do you act so suspicious? Like I know you're like normal, but like, why do you, why do you? Act like that. <clears throat> Who's the boss? It's Snow. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I'm playing as, or I'm answering as, uh, the one guy. I'll take care of Sarah. You got my word on that. <laughs> Words are cheap. Uh... Really? This guy's cocky. This guy's very cocky. I kind of like it though. Ah! Uh, Royal Lucidity, thank you so much for the 30 months. Thank you, thank you. ADH people wanting to become Lucy so they can finally have a focus. Holy shit. Oh no. That's so fucking funny, actually. That's actually hilarious. Are there any more Wheatleys around? Uh, I wonder where Godot is. <laughs> okay, Shaggy. I wonder where Godot is, man. I am one of said ADH people. I've had this joke since the end of the 13 streams. Awesome, I love it. We still heal between battles? I actually haven't noticed. I guess we'll find out. I can no longer get any higher than a four star. Ooh, Iron Bangle. Iron Bagel. I will definitely put that on. Give me the bagel. 
awesome. What's funny? Wheatley! Libroscope! Oh my god. Great. Wait, is it an, is it a single use item? Oh yeah, it is. It's a single use item. Interesting. No versus like thirty people in Skyrim. Interesting. <laughs> Slash and burn, baby. All right, let's fucking go. What's going on here? I'm oh shit, it. oh no! I see it too. I'm pretty sure it's no dream. Life is everything I never thought it would be and everything I feared it would become because for 30 seconds I thought there was monsters on the world. <laughs> Oops. <clears throat> Use that crossbow. Or I guess it's just a bobo. Oh, is that the name of Mickey's Keyblade? That's awesome. Oh, the miasma. I'm all miasmed up. I don't know about you. Bye! <clears throat> Thanks, Godot. Did we just kill it? Are we, like, strong enough to just fucking waste those guys? Wheatley! Phoenix down. That's nice. Now we'll live forever. Hang on, I gotta talk to McKee. How do these plants grow so fast? I don't get it. Must be pockets of unstable time or something. More meteorite phenomena. You got that right. Look at this stuff. Ever since that rock came down, we've been seeing all kinds of aberrations. Do you have any idea what's happening? <sighs> Not the slightest clue. Some spots seem to have sped forward centuries. Good thing it doesn't affect but people. The parts haven't changed at all. <sighs> so, these areas are from different timelines. Uh -huh. Realities blending together. Like two ages. Time travel, life. baby, let's go. Right. right. It's exactly like that. Hmm. I wonder, did that meteorite come from another world? Like another dimension or another time? It fell here from Valhalla. Huh? Let's keep moving. If we learn more about the rock, then we'll know more. If we learn more, we'll know more. Uh, oh, the fucking miasma. It's just an illusion or something. Oh, shit. Fing! <gasps> Vanille! Yo, is that Ragnarok? Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. It's that thing again. Primer. Uh, an efficient battle strategy is the key to victory. Use L1 to perform a paradigm shift to select a paradigm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Switch to twin shields, a defensive paradigm dominated by sentinels that can mitigate damage. 
Gogma Gog uses the powerful attack swipe. When you see him about to unleash the attack, press L1 to perform a paradigm shift. <laughs> cool. So it's basically our guard mechanic. So, so you gotta be quick. You gotta be quick with that. It's a much more active way to play, I think. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> Get fucked. You can't do shit, idiot. Thank God. Nice! And then we killed it. And then we played Neopets. By resolving the anomalies along the timeline, you obtain special objects known as fragments. Fragments are memories of time solidified into shards, each containing a valuable piece of knowledge or slice of history. To view which fragments you currently possess, press triangle to access the main menu and select fragments. There are 160 fragments hidden in the world. Total fragments can tell you how many of them you have discovered. So let's see. Monster bits. Best of the bestiary. Gogmagog is a giant of the void beyond. Banished from this world for violating the laws of time, the beast forever wanders the void in search of escape. Many enchantments were needed to contain its immense power. These charms and magic seals that cover the beast are mute testament to the courage of those who banished it. What the fuck? This is awesome. This is so fucking cool, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's fucking sick as hell. Oh my the god. I, want I don't know. Why don't you just calm down, buddy? Why don't you just calm close, down? But... Well, is it because of the meteorite? <laughs> Dude, yeah, awesome monster lore. Uh, you better believe we're reading all of those. We made it. Wait up. Secret. Secret Wheatley. Yummy! Geisha greens! Isn't that chocobo food? It is in 14 at least. Dude, this game is off to a fucking bang. No, do you know? <clears throat> yeah. Wait, what happened to Cocoon? It's not there. Well, you're looking at a different time. That's the world I come from. In my world, Cocoon doesn't exist. When I was born, the sky was already empty. <sighs> Tell me, how many years has it been since Ragnarok appeared and Cocoon fell? Well, it's 3 a.m. So that was three <laughs> It's 3 AF right now. Me, all that it's 3 AF in here. Years in the past. I was born and raised in another time. 700 years in the future. Yes, I knew it. I knew you weren't from this world. At least from this world, just I'm in the, the future. Humanity. Hey! <clears throat> Sarah, I can take you there. We can find lightning together. I know she wants to see you. You're full of it! Yeah, that's impossible. Lightning's gone, man. Godot. 
They do not trust Noel. My sister is. Come with me. What's happening? Time travel, baby. Let's fucking go. You see? It's a time gate. What do you mean? Wow. Time gate. What the it's like a portal. Lightning is in a place called Valhalla. She's waiting on the other side. I couldn't turn my eyes away. I knew the answer lay beyond that gate. The answer to my doubts and dreams. On the broad plain beneath Cocoon, my sister once celebrated my marriage to Snow. I remember her smile like it was yesterday. But sometime when I wasn't looking, she disappeared. She was gone as if she'd never been there in the first place. Oh, interesting. Are you out there? Did I dream that day on Pulse or did it really happen? What the, the fuck? I can find you. But is he telling the truth? The intrigue. Noel's world was a terrible place where Cocoon did not exist. He had traveled back in time to change that bleak future. Or so he told us. Listen. When different eras overlap, all kinds of crazy stuff happens. Objects from different times get mixed up. If you want to open a gate and travel through time, you have to find one of those objects. They're called artifacts. Uh, artifacts? The keys to the future. Hmm. <clears throat> They're anachronisms, relics of a different world. Basically, things that don't belong in your time. If we can find one, we might be able to use it to open the gate. Then we could cross time and travel to Lightning's world. Hmm. Huh. Could Noel be telling the truth? Beyond that gate, in a place Do they hate Valhalla, him? They hate him! Is alive and waiting for me? Can I dare to hope again? <laughs> they hate him so time? much. They're just looking out for uh, Sarah, but oh my god. They hate him so much. <laughs> So it makes me want to trust here. them more because everyone's immediately like, fuck you, I hate you. I, think about. I wonder if anyone slept. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning! Good morning! You can now access party paradigms and the Crystarium! Yay! Oh, don't you worry. I am familiar. Did you just create a box? LeBro's olive tattoo? What the fuck are you talking about? Was it a data log thing? I don't get it. All right. What is? What am I unlocking? Oh. Learn thunder. Whoops. Wait, what's happening? Oh no, this is so different. This is so different from what I remember. Whoa. So you just level them up equally. But also there's like a weird... I don't understand. This is so confusing. How does it work? Yeah, I'm continuing with the trilogy. Every point gives you a level alongside stats associated with that given role. Interesting. 
Oh, so you can just keep giving it to certain roles. Metaguard is very good. Okay. Alright, let's mosey. Oh, we want to read the new data logs, probably. Mog! Hi, Mog! Mog is a small, mysterious creature covered in white fur. He has bat-like wings that he often beats as he flits around, but his power of flight does not appear to rely on them. Mog has a crystal bobble that reacts to the presence of anomalies, and he is proficient at finding lost objects. But his most astounding feature is his ability to transform into a weapon. With the right components available, Mog is capable of evolving into even more powerful weaponry. Noel is a young man that arrived in New Bodom at the same time as the meteorite. He is the last of humanity from a world 700 years in the future, a world where Cocoon no longer exists. He claims that he met with lightning in the other world of Valhalla and that she requested he find Sarah in the past. Noel is adept at hunting and appears to have some knowledge of time travel. Time Gates. Time gates appear as strange glowing portals and each requires a specific artifact to activate it by passing through the gates and traveling outside of the timeline. It is said that one can eventually arrive in Valhalla. Magic is the ability to draw on the crystal power residing in oneself and make possible all manner of incredible feats. This power was once only the provenant province of Lassie, but since the catastrophe and the migration to Pulse, some former citizens of Cocoon have suddenly developed the ability to wield magic. Sarah is one of these people. Why would she be one of those people? Because she's already a Lassie, so like... Or she was a Lassie, so she should just be able to use magic anyways. Now don't start whining. We agreed to take care of things while he was gone. Hello! Morning! Sorry. Sorry you got yourself hurt because of me. Hey, do we have to go through this again? I told you. We look out for each other. I won't tell Snow. No will be our little secret. Uh. Hey, it's not like that. <laughs> Why are we sorry? Because I over apologize. And if the game gives me the opportunity to do so, I'm gonna take it. Project? P project? Yeah, I was uh, working on something for snow. That thing, y you know. <laughs> I don't know. Boy, what the hell are you talking about? I don't think you can trust that guy. Does he have the same voice actors, uh, fucking Pence from Kingdom Hearts 2? <laughs> oh, so I did promise I'd be more selfish. Fuck. Work. He says he's from the future, but where's the proof? I guess you're right. Hey, Sarah. Listen, what's the deal with you and that Noel guy, anyway? If I said I was going with him, would you stop me? Let you run off with some con artist? I'd beat him half to death first. That's not good. <laughs> hey, Noel, you got a big storm coming. Noel, you gotta watch out. Noel, I'm warning you ahead of time. Once you're ready, okay? I'm ready. I'm like tempted to buy some outfits. <laughs> Don't tell Sarah, anyone, chat. Don't me. tell anyone, but I want to buy some outfits. All this talk about artifacts and gates and time travel. To be honest, I don't know if I'm ready to believe it. Sarah, there's still so much I don't understand myself. If oh, Cocoon is back. An artifact, then I'll know what I've been saying is true. And once we open the gate, you'll be able to put some of your doubts to rest as well. So what do you think? Will you search for the answers with me? <sighs> when searching for artifacts and treasure spheres, pay attention to the Moogle's bobble. It will glow in the vicinity of special items and other treasures. Find the places that trigger the Moogle's bubble, bobble, bubble bobble, and examine the uncovered treasure using X. Give me a chance and I'll prove that it's true. Okay. 
think Mog has found something. I'll bet you anything it's that guy for sure. That's totally Pence. Hmm? And what's that now? Nothing. Or no. Did somebody look that up and say no? No? It's actually not? What the fuck? up the artifact come here kitties After her. stay on her mark koopa koopa we need to pet the meow meows no matter what oh god God, this jump is fucking useless. Ah! <laughs> A visitor of yours? This jump is nothing. I wonder how far they've gotten in constructing that giant elevator. Is it true that Mackie shot my pickle? Gotcha, you little freak. So this is where you got to. The she named the cat Snow. Snow. Koopo. Oh yeah, she's my pet. Koopo. Huge fan. Oh my god. Hey, I don't see why not. I think we should keep her too, uh, just as long as she doesn't make a mess in my workshop. <laughs> yeah. Hey, girl. Are you sure you can look after her? Can't we all do it? I mean, Despite this being mocap, uh, it actually looks pretty decent. Usually a big, uh, disliker of mocap on, like, stylized characters, but this, this is decent. This is pretty damn good. I thought I could hide it from them, but they knew. They saw right through me. I'd lost lightning, and then snow. But those guys, they really tried to cheer me up. <laughs> so it hasn't been all bad. No, not at all. Life is harder here compared to back on Cocoon. But everyone sticks together. Even in the tough times, we have each other. That helps. Aww. Those friends of yours are like family. <laughs> the cat is my only family. Who does she miss more, snow or lightning? No offense, but probably snow. But without snow, I still feel as lonely as can be, even with all these friends around me. He's the ultimate and wife snow, guy. We got to give him some love. I'm sure, you'll find each other again. I love you, Where ultimate you wife guy. Where else should we look? Mark, <clears throat> help us out here. Koopo. Koopo. I wonder if I could turn the voices up or the music down. No, there's like no audio settings. I don't think he's just looking for playmates. Yeah, no, you can't turn up. You can't adjust anything. These are my students. I teach their classes. A school teacher, huh? Right. I'm so glad you're all safe. Yeah. She's a teacher. That's so sweet. I did mine because I didn't want you getting mad at me like the last time. She gets fucking pissed Seems at her like students. You're soft on kids, but you're pretty strict, huh? <laughs> Get her ass! Get her ass! Getting bullied by children. Because my teacher was strict. 
getting bullied by fucking children. <laughs> oh my god. My grandmother was a teacher too. She taught me everything I know. She taught me about Grand Pulse and its history. Do you know what happens next? Well, I'm still not sure this place is the past world of my time. But assuming it is, chaos rains down on Cocoon. And the disaster and the prophecy comes to... What's wrong? It comes to... It's weird. It's like my memories are slipping away from me. You're just making shit up. Sorry, I, I don't mean to be cryptic. I'll let you know if it comes back to me. Did, yeah, did she tell you any lotto numbers? That's the kid I was looking for. I knew my eyes weren't playing tricks on me. It's Maggie. I better get out of here. Assuming you aren't playing this on PC or it have crashed by now, I am playing on PS3. What is an artifact anyway? No one knows. Only that it's something that doesn't belong in this time. Who told you about them? Did someone in the future tell you about gates and artifacts? Yeah. <clears throat> now all I have is memories. I wish I'd thought to ask more questions while I had the chance. These disturbances are all Dude, wait, I just realized this guy is totally gates. Silver the Hedgehog. I'd say our best bet is to search around the town. From the future, the future's fucked up. He wants to fix it in the past. Silver the Hedgehog. Trunk Silver Knoll Holy Trinity. Don't creep up on me like that. All clear, nothing to report. Is that really a meteorite? You know, I was thinking, if Noel here really is from the future, he must be Actual Baby Psycho, thank you for the follow. That's true. We should probably explain a few things. I'm all ears. We were all born and raised on Cocoon. Exposition, baby, let's go. Basically fell out of the sky. We couldn't rely on the broken fast sea anymore. So most of us made the decision to move to Pulse. Most of us of people living on Cocoon? It must have been pretty cramped. Well, it was. But on Pulse we had to deal with new hardships, like vicious monsters and a lack of provisions. Sounds like a rough time. Yeah. But eventually things settled down and some former military types helped get things organized. Now there's a growing town at the base of Cocoon's Pillar. The guys who used to be in charge are long gone. How did you end up in this place then? <clears throat> Our leader, Snow, suggested we live somewhere near the ocean. We used to live in a seaside town on Cocoon, so it was like we were rebuilding our home. Snow and the rest of us were used to fighting monsters and getting our hands dirty. So we pretty much settled back into our old way of life. Snow's not around right now, so we do the best we can. But if Lightning were back, everything would be so much better. So for everyone here, your sister being gone is the reality. Odd. Why? Is that different from what he knows? Ooh. Makes you think. Godot! Can you beat this guy up again? It's really funny. Hey there, Sarah. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm not letting anyone near that meteorite just yet. Oh, that's okay. I'm going anyways. Hey, Godot. What do you think those artifact things are? You know, the keys Noel was talking about. How should I know? Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. So, you do know something? No, I got no idea. You're not actually swallowing any of that crap, are you? I have to give him a chance, at least. Seems like the inspector fell into the same exact crap as the rest of us. Trust me, I knows. Hey, you guys. Did you see a medical kit lying around anywhere? I thought I'd left one in Nora house, but I can't seem to find it. I'm guessing someone had a use for it during that ruckus yesterday. Pulse is a dangerous place, and I don't have the supplies to deal with serious injuries. If you find the kit, can you bring it to me? New Bodum 3 AF, uh, 3 as fuck. Nor remember Nell is missing the medical kit someone used last night during the monster invasion. Search New Bodum for the item and return it to her. Thank you. 
My other kits are practically empty. And we still have people to treat. I put in an order for supplies, but deliveries take forever <clears throat> to arrive. I'm counting on you. Okay. So now we know random NPCs can give you quests. Very interesting. How about you? You got a Sarah, quest? Who's your friend? Someone from a faraway place. No, is there any Hi, Lebro. Ask? Tell me more about this town. <laughs> He's so far <laughs> away. Place called Bodum. Tell me more That's about this town. Nora. But we had to find another place to live after that incident 3 years back. We left Cocoon and created this town. Wow. So that big guy's in charge, huh? He's strong like an ox, but he's no leader. Here in town, LeBro's actually in command. Oh, he's really? Ignore, after all. Uh, and fucking uh, feminism win. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Win for the girlies. LeBro have important roles, but without huge, we'd never agree on anything. And who knows what we'd do without Mackie's gadgets? So the four of them together make the perfect leader. <clears throat> but what about Sarah? What's her role? She's a grade school teacher. A really strict one, too. <laughs> He's teasing again. No, I'm not. She'll kick those students' asses. Hello I've there, seen it happen. Sarah. Oh, hi there. This might be a strange question, but have <clears throat> you seen something that shouldn't exist? <laughs> it's a strange question, all right. I wish I could help you, but I've been pretty busy with security duty. Frankly, these days, lots of things seem out of the ordinary. Sarah's yeah, talking to a woman. Is this Yuri? Wait, is this Yuri that's happening right now? Chat, is this Yuri? Can you tell me? Is this Yuri? At least things have improved in these past few years. When the town was first built, Nora was in charge of keeping everyone safe and working the fields. Let me tell you, living on Cocoon, you don't learn to grow vegetables. Rural gay commune led by feminism. Like Yuri? Is that Yuri? Is it Yuri when that happens? That sounds like Yuri. <laughs> yeah, one in chat if this is Yuri. <laughs> See you back. Thank you so much for the hundred bits. Thank you. Thank you. I want to see what's what's going on over here. It's like a little... According to the map, there's like a little fucking thing, but I can't find it. It's like this way? Yes. Okay. Oh, did I find your thing? Why do you have a gray one? Medical kit? No one seems to know anything about it. No, I guess not. I guess it just means it's a side quest that's open. Okay, let's get to work. I wonder if it's around here or if Yes? Well, obviously, Cocoon is still there. It did disappear last night, but then it undisappeared. Looks like you found your kitty cat. Is Aren't you the great? same person that was on the beach? What the fuck? What the fuck? She sounds completely different. What just happened? They're twins and they wear the same outfit. Just remembered something. I saw huge cuddling the Nora house kitty this morning. Aw, that's cute. <laughs> I don't know why you thought that was pertinent information, but thank you. Yeah, the music here is nice. All right, enough dilly dallying. Enough dilly dally shilly shally.
Lightning's knife? <gasps> that's that's probably the anomaly. Is that the artifact? Artifact. This is Lightning's knife. I keep it in my room, but how did it get out here? Look there. <laughs> oh, hey, it's the ending of Final Fantasy XIII. Snow! <laughs> Hope, I missed you! Oh, I'm gonna cry all over again. Oh, man. I found it near the base of the pillar. This didn't happen! This is different! Snow. Sarah, I'm sorry. She must be inside the pillar. Lightning's holding up Cocoon. Wait! Girl Slate! Girl Slate is canon! Girl Slate is canon! She was right here a second ago. Girl Slate is canon, bro! She gave us her blessing. Sarah. Oh, man. I won't forget that moment. Happy. Happy that Snow and I were getting So married. she remembers, but nobody else does. And said congrats. But then, all of a sudden, Lightning disappeared. She was gone. Like she was never there to begin with. No one else remembered her smiling and laughing. No one but me. All your friends think your sister is inside that pillar. I was scared. Oh, never mind. Girls' Night not canon. Everyone thinks it is, though. They said... It's canon in my heart. They said I was just making up stories so that I didn't have to face the truth. Listen, Sarah. Your memories are the truth. Lightning is alive. The question is, why are you the only one who remembers? Ooh, ooh, okay. Let's see. Well... <clears throat> perhaps history changed somehow. You mean, your memories are true, but history was altered afterwards? Of course, that's not really possible. I know that. But I just don't understand how I can remember it so clearly when no one else can. Weird. The knife looks like it's been polished. Maybe someone was cleaning it out here and then forgot about it. I don't think this is our artifact, though. Let's keep looking. Damn. What a cutscene. Things are almost back to normal on Cocoon. Thanks to the provisional it's government really... the army created. It's really interesting to me that they, like, brought back that, like, the ending and all of the fucking beautiful-ass, like, pre-rendered visuals and then redid the ending, but differently. That's so crazy. So I can tell you, the mountain path is off limits. Cadeau's orders. We can't go near the meteorite right now. Wait, I remember, wasn't there another path along the shore? Well, now that you mention it, there is another route along the shore that the surfers use. There's a path but don't that use that, please. Zone. You can't use it right now, though. Well, don't worry. I know how to make a path myself. Check this out. <laughs> nope. Oh, man. I was trying to chase that guy, but that guy got in the way. Got 
<laughs> yeah, that guard is bad at his job. God, that jump is not great. Wheatley! But I want to know, what is this gate? Nope. Man, where are you going? Get the fuck back here! you lunch for a year I'll be nice I'm a nice teacher now watch this why did you run away I promise I won't get mad if you tell me I know you say you won't get mad at me but I can't tell you I don't want to get yelled at the kid was trying to get away from Mackie I bet you anything he was up to no good You don't have to talk if you don't want to. You really can't tell me? Oh well. Then I guess I won't force you to. <gasps> really? Thanks! Maybe I'll tell you later. When's that gonna be? I'm just being nice! I hope you're not misbehaving. It makes me sad when my students don't behave. I'm sorry, Miss Farron. Guess I'll own up. Yay! Empathy! And that's why he was chasing you? What did you take? This necklace. It belongs to you, doesn't it? Aww. Hey, wait! <laughs> this anyway <laughs> that belongs to Mackie doesn't it no it's mine it's a reminder of a promise a good friend made me ooh <gasps> the song the song Sarah I believe you your sister's alive yes She's out there somewhere yes he believes us thank you Snow Absolute fucking, he is the king of trusting his wife. Here, you hang on to this for a while. When I come back, it'll be with lightning. Then there's no way she can say no to us getting married. Okay. Okay. And that was the last time I saw snow. The memories I had of lightning standing on the plain beneath Cocoon. He was the only one who believed. Believe them enough to do something. That's in character. Yes, the consistency. We love it. Uh, Red Rum Radio, thank you so much for the follow. That's why I've been waiting here. And doing nothing, right? <gasps> Lightning and snow Man. are long gone. But you still sit here and wait. Why didn't you go after them? No, you're being a dick. I have faith in my husband! Faith in snow. He is a hero after all. And has that faith been enough? Neither of you want to be apart, yet here you are alone. Don't you think I know that? <sighs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. But you tell me, what good is a hero if he's never around? You're jealous. You're jealous. You're jealous of the ultimate wife guy. Go to hell. Sorry, but we can't let you through. We have a dangerous situation on our hands. It's about to it's about to become more dangerous if you don't fucking step aside, dude. I have a little fucking flying cat that turns into a fucking crossbow. I see them. 
Trust me, dude. You don't want this. Sorry. Time travel's fine, but dissing snow. Some crimes can never be fucking forgiven. There's the five star. The gate thing seems fairly safe. The gate thing seems fairly safe. Hey there. How goes it? <laughs> the gate thing seems fairly safe. <laughs> How goes it? Hey, got to work to pay the bills. The gate thing <laughs> seems fairly <laughs> safe. Where's the What are we fighting? Anyone else in the shelters? It's like, hey, look out, there's violence nearby. Where? Okay. The gay thing seems fairly safe. <laughs> oh, we have thunder too. Awesome. Can we just scan like we used to? Oh my god, yeah, that's great. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Wait a second, I recognize this model from 14 somewhere. Wait, what? That guy? The gate guy? The gay guy? Where'd he go? He's gone. Know the little robot? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV was made right after thirteen and uses a lot of the same assets. Like, a lot. Like, a lot of the same assets. Artifact. Is that some kind of food? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a noun, dude. What the fuck do you think we're talking about? There's, like, if you play through Final Fantasy 13, you'll start to see a lot of the same animations, models, and everything in 14. Like, they're everywhere. It's kind of great, actually. Yeah, similar sound effects are like, yeah, they're like carried over between the two. Um, Final Fantasy XIV was originally made in Final Fantasy XIII's engine, uh, which is why it was so bad, because Final Fantasy XIII's engine was not meant to fucking be an MMO. Uh, it could not handle the load of an MMO, um, which is why they ended up redoing the entire game. Wheatley! Oh yeah, that's an iron bangle. Damn. Thing they found in the meteorite is very weird. It's just that simple. Crystal tools in general is very bad. Well, it served its purpose in Final Fantasy 13. It was good for that. Orders from Godot. Fuck you, man. Ooh, new guys. They're absorbing my nutrients! Fuck! Ah, my nutrients! No! Please! No! Don't absorb my nutrients! No! I don't want this! Don't absorb my nutrients! Let 
No, if you die, I'm gonna cringe. <clears throat> oh, fuck. I barely got out of there with any of my nutrients intact. That's a fucking thing, if I ever saw one. Warcry? Oh shit, it's got buffs. And we don't have the, uh, the debuff skill yet. Yeah, it's a weird fucking dog. Medic. Medic? Anyone out there? Oh well. All remaining. It wasn't the artifact after all. Losing your touch oh. it's not his nice. Here. Slash and burn, baby. Name of the game. Oh, it's dead. We're getting pretty good at that. Nice. Did it get any of the other expansions past Heaven's Ward? The PS3, I mean. Oh, we don't actually need to change off of that, because these are so weak. So there's supposed to be a secret surfer path you can use when the tide is low. I believe it, it might be this. Oh, okay, goodbye. Was that like a secret? Definitely axed for Shadowbringers. That's just too bad. <laughs> Such a low quality sound bite. Swing. Hmm, I could use some guidance. Pixelmar, thank you so much for the follow. How could I forget? The map just tells you what to do. Or not in this case? Oh, but there is a path. No? No, there's not a path. What the fuck? Hmm. Oh? <sighs> no artifact yet, huh? No. I guess I just had to come back here. Showing up in places they shouldn't be. I wonder if someone's trying to mess with us. I doubt it. No one here would do something like that. Hmm. I guess not. Unless they think they're doing the right thing. It might not be a person at all. I mean, with time and space being warped everywhere, anything could happen, really. Right. 
And that's how your things ended up out here? It's not a bad theory. Okay, so maybe we should ask if anyone else is missing stuff. Let's head to the house and find out. Okay! We know that the person is missing a med pack. How about it, future boy? Do you want a quick history lesson? No. I know people have changed since we came down the pulse, but some folks have even learned how to use magic, like our Sarah. I do, I, that doesn't make sense to me because Sarah should already be able to wield magic because she was, was a oh, Lassie. Before. Oh, that's an artifact then. Hey, check it out. Wait. Okay, what is that? Wow, the crystals! How, how did that happen? It's... a twist in time. Something that doesn't belong. Yeah. I think this is an artifact. Sure. I mean, if I didn't know what an artifact looked like and that I thing appeared out of my fucking mirror, my anachronistic anyone. mirror, I would assume that shit's true. an artifact. Did he really meet lightning in Valhalla? Maybe. Once I step through the gate, I'll be leaving my friends, my students, and the village for who knows how long. Can Five minutes! Me, do I dare believe this man? Okay. Ah! Now we just have to head for the gate. I don't get it. What was that artifact doing in the mirror? Pushing! Well, the mirror must have belonged to someone else in the past. Or the future. Wherever it came from, it didn't belong here in this time. Okay. I'm going to take this artifact and open that gate. But you still don't trust me, do you? I can see it in your eyes. I met you fucking ten minutes ago. Let me live. About or don't Bitch. Believe, just ask, and I'll try to explain. Well, there is one thing. What is it you want, exactly? A future that has people in it. <laughs> I lived at the end of days, basic needs. The very last child to be born. As I grew up, everyone I knew died one by one, until eventually it was just me. All their dreams fell on my shoulders. I was their last hope. It was too much, so I left. Sure, maybe I couldn't go home again. Maybe I couldn't make everyone happy. But at the very least, I could rebuild a future where everyone could survive. Ah! So I went through the gate. <laughs> what was, was that? Really I had a dream that I didn't think it would last. I didn't know what it really crowd. meant. But once I got here and saw how you and your friends live in this village, I knew my dream could come true. In your sister gave me a chance. She gave me hope. The future can be changed. That's what she told me. And I believe her. Oh my god! I understand. Thank you, Noel. <laughs> Thank you, Noel. Please repeat everything you just said. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, hang on. We got, we got, we got to study this. We got to study this. This is important. <laughs> Him too. <laughs> what the fuck? You done? Was 
wish I had nothing to do just like you. Hey, kid. Uh, Miss Farron, <clears throat> are you leaving us? What? Why do you say that? Um, it's just that some people were talking, and it would be lonely if you left. There's no need to feel lonely. Don't worry. This is my home. I love it here. If I do leave, I'll always come back. I promise. <laughs> they always said Pulse was dangerous, but even the ground is out to get you. Nowhere is safe. Dude, watching these kids just fucking run and then f <laughs> She hit her head on the deck! Help her! Someone help her! <laughs> these kids! These fucking kids! Oh my god. Christ. I'll stop you this time. No. The gate is where the meteorite fell. So we should head towards Cocoon, right? You know, it must be strange to have it there always watching over you. No, it means I'm being protected by the gaze. <clears throat> Not the Gorgonus snooping in, Sid. Dude, I'm gonna kill this guy. He's not even supposed to be here. <clears throat> I'm not even supposed to be here. <clears throat> I wonder if we'll get attacked by one. Ah! It's interesting that this game, like, automatically dodges the, like, RPG sequel problem of, like, resetting everybody's, like, stats and skills to square one by having just completely new protagonists. <clears throat> ha! You put your gate down for two seconds! That means I get to go! Fuck this guy. <clears throat> oh no, he's gonna absorb my nutrients! No! Not again! Do you think that Sarah would be one of those girls that passes the alley? I think she- I think she absolutely is. She seems like a kind person. I think she would totally pass the yaoi. Especially if it's been a rough week. said you were free to come and go as you please. Haha, <laughs> I get special privileges. We never found that person's med kit or whatever. <laughs> Snow would be like, I don't get it, but love is love. Yeah. That thing had like one health left and then it absorbed nutrients. Keep your eyes peeled. aren't absorbed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, not again! He's back! Bro! 
Slash and burn, baby. Shit, 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 no. Oh, shit! Oh my god, the fucking save! Oh my god, that's nuts. Okay. We're stronger now. We can kick your ass, dude. The last second save. That music! Oh my god, dude! <laughs> Bro, the music! Oh, right. I wasn't paying attention. I got too hyped. I looked away. <clears throat> Fucking Sonic Frontiers ass music. Five stars, baby. Let's go. Fragment discovered. Gobba gobba gog. Chocobo! Oh my god, that's what the chocobo looks like? Chocobos are large birds used as riding mounts. Feed Geishel greens to a chocobo and it'll let you hop on the saddle and ride around. You will not encounter any monsters while mounted, so chocobos are your best option when you wish to travel somewhere quickly and safely. Press L1 when you wish to dismount. There are some locations where these speedy avian companions are not initially avail available, but keep exploring and you might find they eventually appear. No time traveler should miss the chance to see the world from the back of a Chocobo. They don't look like that in 13, because we saw Chocobos, and they did not look like that, if I remember correctly. I mean, cool, though. Cool and awesome. Hello, animal dog. Are you sure you're ready? You know, once we go through, there might be no coming back. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, I'm ready to go. It's so much, so much life. fucking uh, visual flair for there. that. Yes or no question. <clears throat> sorry I doubted you. Of all people, I should know how bad it can make you feel when no one believes what you say. Snow put all his trust in me. Now it's my turn to do the same for you. I've made up my mind. You and I. We go together. I won't let you down. <clears throat> I'm Valhalla, I promise. They'll be fine without that med kit. I mean, I explored everywhere. I figure I would have found it if it was, like, around. I don't know. So, you're not gonna say goodbye? There's no need. Plus, we might be able to come back later. Lightning's knife. It's been sharpened and cleaned. Lucky you did hey, that. Hey, shut up. <laughs> Aww. Look, my pendant has a brand new chain. Oh, they were gearing her up! Aww! And Snow was purring like a kitten. Someone gave him a good brushing. <laughs> oh my god! Aww. They all wanted to give her gifts! Up? Oh my god, this is so adorable. Hey, Sarah. That's why her stuff was all around. So I made a chain, you know, so you wouldn't lose it. If Lightning is alive out there, wouldn't want her getting mad over a poorly maintained weapon, you know her. <laughs> if you leave, someone's got to pick up the slack looking after snow, so I volunteered myself. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> it's time for me to go. I don't know what's waiting out there. I'm gonna cry. In the future between worlds. But I want to see lightning so much. If there's any chance, any chance at all, I want to take it. 
you can go. But you have to come back in one piece. Promise? <coughs> I promise. If I believe, maybe... Now I'm starting to think I might not be able to come back here later and we might be locked out of that quest. The future won't change until you make the first step. Oh well. You know what you're doing, right? Well, I can't say that I do. This is the first time I've opened a gate myself. Guess we'll just have to find out. Hey, what about Sarah? I'll protect her. I promise you, I vow never to let her come to harm. You want to know? If I get to come back here? Trust me. Mm. For Sarah's sake. <laughs> Look at my fucked up eyes. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let me know if I can, like, come back here later on. You can. All right, cool, cool. I'll just solve that quest later then. Looks like the future starts now. Me when I go up. I'll be back. This is so pretty. See ya. Sarah, you set out on your journey for my sake. You believed in a promise. You believed in a future you could not see. I will keep fighting here at the end of the world. I know you will come. I believe in you. Sarah. Oh shit, the motherfuckers. Oh sh that's the girl he was fucking disintegrating in the ocean at the end of the at the end of time. <clears throat> this place is incredible. It's the Historia Crux. The crossroads of the time continuum. Yeah, I knew that. So this is how you were able to travel <laughs> no, there's literally no way you could. What the fuck are you talking right. about? No, I've seen this. I know. This are you trying to impress me? What the fuck is happening? No, I've seen and it. It's, it's fine. Turn. It's chill. I know what all this is. I think I saw a documentary about it. Yeah, that's literally impossible. Nobody fucking knows about this place except for me. What are you doing right now? <laughs> The Historia Crux is your compass for navigating the rivers of time. Use L or select the year and location to which you wish to travel and confirm your selection. Oh, oh, yeah, so you could just go wherever and whenever you want. Cool. So we can save here. Oh, we haven't saved since the game fucking started. Um... I would like to take a super quick break and get some food because I have not eaten very much at all today. Um, so I'll be right back and then we'll continue. Um, so I will, I will, I'll go to the BRB screen and we can chill out for a little bit. We'll listen to some music and then I'll come back after I've had a hearty meal. Uh, be right back. Yeah, not doing 99 saves this time, although that was fun. But this is not my console. This console belongs to Penny, so I don't want to do that. Um, all right. BRB, I'll be back in two seconds. Uh, yeah, I need to go absorb some fucking nutrients. Hang on, I should turn on some fucking music. Hang on. What are we listening to? Right, of course, Retinal Bloom. Uh, everybody listen to Retinal Bloom right now. Um, I mean, you have to, because I'm about to play it. Whee!
How you like that manual fade out, slowly dragging the Spotify progress or the Spotify volume down? I am back. Um, and I have not eaten. Well, I had like a quick bite. But I am I made a hot pocket and I'm waiting for it to cool off. So that's we'll just play the game some more. And then I'll eat this when it's time. Anyways, that album was Retinal Bloom by the Scary Jokes. Uh, just came out. Fucking high quality. The highest of quality. Uh, I hope y'all check it out and enjoy it. It's very good. And uh, the, the, the person who makes it is a friend of mine. Um, so, yeah. Support uh, their work because it's fucking great. Back to business, though. Rejecting the easy path, humanity has chosen to build a society. Oh, we're going to a different. It's like giving us a. Rather than relying on the Falci. Ooh. A provisional government has replaced the. Two years in the future. A scientific organization calling itself the Academy searches ruins for ancient technological secrets. One such site is on the shores of Lake Brescia where a giant war weapon has been unearthed. Awesome. So this is two years into the future. Oh my god. All right, let's let's go. Let's fucking go. Uh, uh, 005 as fuck. Brescia Ruins as fuck. Are we just gonna keep falling forever? How do we get out of the time vortex? Bro, this is how you lose the time war. This will be the second piece of time travel queer media that I consume uh, in, in, in the past 30 days. As we gaze upon events that cannot be changed, our hearts grow bitter with regret. And you, my dear Sarah, will you encounter your past here? How will you choose to deal with that pain? Mugu! Everybody else! Was it because of Bickless Dickless? Yeah, he tweeted about it and then I read it twice in one sitting because it's that fucking sure? good. Yeah, it's right. like actually one of the best you books I've ever read. Wow. So this is how Cocoon looks from the inside. That's right, I forgot. This is your first time here. Yep. Oh my god. What is that? Oh, that's the big man. World's most biggest guy. Dude, what the hell? This is reminding me of those like Final Fantasy 16 trailers with the big icons. Yeah, probably not, dude. Good time to quit. No. Well, wouldn't you know it? Yeah, let's go. That was sick. I want that one TikTok archer guy to review this. How does this uh, stack up to most media archery? Oh my god, that's so awesome. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, shit. Wounding attacks. Wounding attacks reduces maximum HP. Wounds cannot be healed by normal potions. A long battle is your enemy. Win the battle swiftly to regain your maximum HP. Okay, got it.
Oh, that is a very slow chain bonus build. Nice. Keep it going, keep it going. Oops, not double trouble, slash and burn. Anime Max Goof video game? What? Oh, wait, oh my God, wait, is that the same voice actor? Oh my God, wait a fucking second. Oh my God. It totally is, isn't it? Oh my God, that's awesome. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. Oh, free stagger. Visible giant. I could still see him. He's not that invisible. Melt this dude. Oh, probably not good. Come on. Oh, yeah, we got this. He's dead. He's fucked. This became really easy after the QTEs. I assume he's not, like, dead dead, though. Cinematic action, fuck. Am I playing as the fucking helicopter pilots now? <laughs> Clearly miss some story, what's even happening? We're traveling through time to save Lightning because she's in missing in the timeline. That was exciting. I guess it's over. Huh? It's the army! Go, go. Oh, friends of yours? <laughs> nope. Attention intruders. That's why you don't trust the military. Don't you remember that these guys suck? Why are you excited to see them? Oh, <laughs> the Moogle. Oh, shit. Okay. I earned a time traveler trophy. JD, thank you so much for the Prime sub for six months. You're being detained as potential suspects in the unsanctioned activation of Atlas. Come with me. <clears throat> no funny business. Just like the start of Je Jedi Survivor. Literally, I was thinking the exact same thing, but I didn't say it out loud because I was like, "Stick to the truth." No one's gonna get that reference. Smile. Smiling usually helps. Okay, I'll smile. What's up? Why are we in prison? So why'd we end up here? I bet the gates open into all sorts of places. <clears throat> Getting to Valhalla is not going to be easy.
getting a lot of Jedi Survivor vibes from this. <clears throat> Treasure. Damn it. I need that Wheatley. supposed to connect cocoon and pulse but it's still being built it's going to be finished next year you're confused it was done last year don't you know you're in the future last year does she not know <laughs> how could you not know <laughs> how could you not know sarah you stepped into the time portal <laughs> Is this the future? Did we move forward in time? Probably. <laughs> I'd say two years have passed, had a guess. Since what was scheduled for next year has already been built last year. Sarah, huh? is that you? <laughs> hey. Hello? Hello? Thanks. What the fuck? Sarah, it is you. You know them? Uh-huh. <laughs> Sarah's not even looking at her. What, was that Yuri? Wait, Alice wait, she looked at Sarah and was happy to see her. You our two observers, so this is Yuri. Observers? Yes, they're invited guests <laughs> of the Academy. I was showing them around and... Maybe she's oh, the grown-up version of the girl who kept fucking falling over. VIPs? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we're VIPs. You better let us out of prison forever. <clears throat> uh, I hope we can forget about this little mix up. Yeah, we don't know who this is yet, but she might be like a person from Pulse. Or Grand Pulse. I wonder if we can like meet Strange people that we know in the future if we go back to the past. Faces, an uncertain future. Pre rendered cutscenes. A strange energy that warps time itself. Things that shouldn't exist here are appearing near the gates. Things that shouldn't happen are happening. They call this phenomenon the paradox effect. And if you think about it, that term could apply to our existence in this age as well. Lightning. How will I find it <coughs> when I don't even know when or where I'll end up next? Rain. Oh. I'll supply you both with comm devices. Right this way, please. Um, thank you for your help. I was just wondering, hmm? have we met before? Oh, no. Sorry about all that observer nonsense back there. Lucky for us, that soldier was so quick to Oh, never mind. She's just nobody. She just thinks we're cool. <laughs> so what's your story? I'm Alyssa Seidel, an academy trainee. And this is where I'm going to make my big discovery. That's not what I meant. What do you want with us? <laughs> I'm not sure I want to tell you yet. You just have to trust me. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> right this way, please. Oh, there she goes. Thanks for your hard work. Wait, hang on. I need this Wheatley. How do I get to Wheatley? Really traveled into the future. They were better off keeping yeah, probably. From for now. <clears throat> oh, damn, she just kept running. Hang on a second. Is there a way in here? There might be. There might be! I think it might be through up. If we can go up. Okay, that's fine. We'll do it later. Oh yeah, the fake camera's getting water on it. That's cool. That's a nice effect. I like it. I'm researching Atlas's power source. 
You'll need an cool. ID to travel any further. Tell me more, ma'am. Here, take this communicator and keep it with you at all times. Okay. Researchers will claim to be straight and then use something called a communicator. So I'm curious. Yeah? Just why are you helping us anyway? I saw you two. I saw how you got here through that thing. What? You mean through the gate? Yes, it is a kind of gate. It links to another world, doesn't it? Ooh -hoo. Nice to finally have some clue what these things are for. Hmm. So basically, helping us out was almost like part of your research. But you still have questions. I do have questions, yes. About the Aww. gate and about the paradox. Yeah. But She's cute. She's so excited to learn. Closed off and there goes the chance That's to great. I like her. <laughs> please stop backseating. I don't I don't want to know about stuff before I see it. No please. Problem. We'll take care of that giant for you. You will? Great. It is against the rules. I don't want to know about enemies that I haven't seen yet. I don't want to know about secret stuff. I would like to figure shit out as I go. Uh, plus try on to change leader during battle. You can also select the change leader option. The remaining character will automatically become the new battle leader. Cool. Three types of gates exist in the world. The ones that shine like the sun have been blessed by the goddess and require special artifacts. Crystal gates require wild artifacts that can be obtained in many locations and times. However, the artifacts are consumed with each use. The Scorched Gates are the ones most recently used by Sarah and Noel to travel to that location. Approach them and press X to return to the Historia Crux. Cool. <clears throat> Change leader. Uh, I want to play Sarah. I get to be the girl. Oh, you're a significant person. Ellis is an academy trainee who helps release Noel and Sarah from the custody of the Brescia Ruin Security Force. The lies she used to set them free and the fact that she already knows Sarah's name make the two time travels wary of trusting her. Although still a teenager, Alyssa is highly gifted and is already part of an official research team. There is something in the Brescia Ruins that she is eager to investigate. She's a genius. The, she's, she's child genius. Big brain. Artifacts are the keys that activate time gates. These objects can appear in any form and are only identified as things that shouldn't exist or items from another time. Making the research for an artifact a difficult task. Artifacts are strongly tied to their possessors and are also said to take on completely different shapes depending on the person who handles them. Interesting. Historia Crux is the crossroad that lies between time gates. It is a separate dimension connecting one age to the next. The surreal plane is said to be the border of the chaotic realm of Valhalla. And only those with an affinity for the power of chaos are able to use it to travel through time. Even the godlike Falci are not free to enter the Historia Crux as they please. Following the appearance of the gate that appeared in New Bodom in 3 as fuck, the time gates began showing up in a multitude of locations. The Research Institute, the Academy, gave a name to anomalies that accompany the arrival of these gates and cause impossible things to happen. They call them paradoxes. In any location where a paradox is present, people report strange occurrences, such as the sudden appearances of unusual monsters and odd connections to other times and places. Atlas is a massive human humanoid war machine found within the Brescia ruins, and it began an uncontrolled ramp rampage when the paradox effect was triggered. Only the left hand of Atlas was uncovered, but the rest of its invisible body is thought to exist in a different space-time. Despite being excavated in the ruins of an ancient city, the technology that powers the giant is far beyond the capabilities of that age. Researchers theorize that Atlas is actually a man-made weapon pulled into the present from some future time period. What the fuck? The Grand Elevator is an ambitious project that aims to build a conveyance that will travel along the Crystal Pillar and connect Cocoon to Grand Pulse. The main purpose of the elevator is to provide a means to transport materials from inside Cocoon and help speed construction of the city uh, springing up at the base of the pillar. With completion, the elevator is scheduled for four as fuck. It is still under construction when Sarah and Noel first pass through a gate in three, uh, three as fuck. The Academy is a research institute founded in the year three as fuck. In addition to improving existing scientific techniques, the Institute also actively seeks out lost technologies. 
After the fall of Cocoon, the true nature of the Falci and their antipathy towards humans was revealed. In response to this development, the Academy champions a philosophy that encourages the restoration of society based solely on the efforts of mankind, with no interference from or reliance upon the Falci. Understandable. During the catastrophe that befell Cocoon, the Brescia ruins were the site of terrible casualties. The reason for this can be found in the Purge. The Purge was the name given to the mass deportation of Bodum's residents. The Falci manipulated the actions of the Sanctum and the elite army unit known as Psycom, sowing chaos and inciting conflict amongst Cocoon's possi- po 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 Wait, so what does that have to do with the Brisha Ruins? During the catastrophe that befell Cocoon. Interesting. <clears throat> Love that this game subverts the genre by having the time travelers not worry about stepping on a patch of grass that destroys existence. Yeah, they're just here to have fun. They're just here to enjoy themselves and make new friends. Why did you offer to stop the giant? Because we can't let Atlas shut this place down. We need to search the ruins. There might be other gates we can use. Like the gate to Valhalla? Exactly. And how can I take you to Lightning without those handy dandy portals? Right. Without those I'll handy dandy way. portals. Alright, dude. You say funny words, so I'll follow you for now. Oh, you know what? We should probably beef up a little bit. Or not. Kitty cat! Whoa, that is a weird fucking kitty cat. Kate Sith? We're killing Kate Sith from Final Fantasy VII? Not the Zwerg Scandroid! Get that Zwerg out of here! Notes. I don't know. Kate Sith deserves it, true. Hey, Noel, don't die. That would be cringe. Paradigm pack unlocked? What does that mean? What? The monster turned into crystal. Servant of time, daughter of chaos, unto the world unseen, the untamed you guide. <laughs> what do you know? <coughs> it talks. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Yeah. Guide the untamed? Your power over monsters, Kubo. Over monsters? What? Now that you mention it, Lightning had monsters fighting with her in battle. You can do the same, Kubo. Okay. This power you can do the same, sure Kubo. Works. I want to learn how to protect myself. Might as well start now. Kubo? <laughs> what? You've obtained a monster crystal. New functions have been added to party paradigms and the crystarium, and you can now access monsters in the main menu. Select paradigm pack within party paradigms and choose monsters to add into your paradigms. Monsters can also be developed in the crystarium. Press triangle and select monsters to customize your monstrous allies. What the fuck? What? Wait. What? Is this really a blind run? No, I'm lying to everyone. I actually played this 800 times and uh, I know everything that's going to happen.
Feral Link? <laughs> Every monster ally can unleash a special attack otherwise known as the Feral Link ability. In order to unleash this ability, add a monster to your party and watch the Feral Link gauge fill as the Link progresses. Build chain attacks with your monster ally or use items on them to increase the recharge rate of the Feral Link gauge. Oh. Wait. Weird. Oh, I guess it's just the same mechanic as before, but now I have a healer. I did not get to see what that was. Kitty clock. Whoa! 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 The effect of the special attack will depend on the synchronization rate shown at the top right corner of the screen. Mastering Feral Link abilities will prove advantageous in battle. Try out different monsters. What the fuck? This is this is crazy. This is like actually nuts. What the hell? Dude, my little buddies! My little fucking buddies! Oh my god, look at all these fucking things! So that's why you don't have medic commands. Oh man, that is interesting. Okay, so we should start focusing on what we want to advance with these characters. I am thinking that uh, Sarah, I kind of want to fill this sort of like um, I would say commander and ravager role whereas the other guy can go uh, Ravager... Well, I think he, he would be Commando Sentinel. So... Yeah, so Commando Ravager, Commando Sentinel. That, yeah, that should be good. Ravager bonus. Crystarium expanded. Select a level bonus. Learn comm bonus boost, rav bonus boost, unlock saboteur. Dude, yes! <laughs> yes! Okay. Alright, let's focus. Let's focus. Commando and Sentinel. Commander bonus boost, sen sentry bonus boost, or sentinel, unlock synergist. Synergist. 
Which one was Synergist? Sure. So we have Saboteur and Synergist as new roles. Oh, you need to use materials to level up your monsters. My fucking little squad. All right, now we need to change our paradigms because we just unlocked a bunch of shit. Um, pretty basic stuff. Commando, Commando, Ravager. Ravager, Ravager, Ravager. And then Commando, Sentinel, Healer. Make a lot of sense. Uh, we could also go... with... Commando... No. Ravager. Commando. Ravager. Ravager, Commando, Ravager. Let's... Yeah, that's that should be good. Aggression can be replaced, because we're not going to use this. Actually, we have it twice, so we're definitely not going to use it. Saboteur. What is Synergist? Oh, oh, uh, buffs. So we'll be applying buffs to ourselves and debuffs to the enemy. So I'll do Saboteur, Commando, and Synergist. And then we'll have... Uh, then we'll have Sentinel, Synergist. Oh, no, we don't want her as a Sentinel. That's like her lowest ability. Uh, we'll take her as a Commando, you as a Synergist, and uh, Kate Sith. And then I feel like this isn't very well rounded. So I want to maybe put Poplight as the. Okay, cool. Awesome. Awesome. We're like ready to go. We don't have any doubles, do we? Oh, we do. We have relent two, two Relentless Assaults. So one of these can change. I'll just get Hoplite in there. That's the same as Aggression. Do maybe... Maybe there's not... Sentinel, Sentinel. Yeah, that's fine. Just so we have options. This will be my A paradigm deck. Cool! Oh my god. That is awesome. Let's go. What the fuck? <clears throat> also, I'm sorry for being rude when someone asked if this really was a blind playthrough, uh, but I just found the idea of me lying about <laughs> seeing any of this to be very silly. So Atlas can time travel, and we need to find him in, uh, in other worlds to actually stop. What the fuck? Here we go. Wow, we are tearing through these dudes. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, we stagger so quickly. Oh, that's fantastic. That's so fantastic. Wait, this is the best, actually. <gasps> I'm so fucking happy right now. Ooh. Kate Sith, die! Dude, get fucked! You didn't stand a chance, man! 
Oh, I hate to tell you this, but you're fucking... Oh, your ass is grass. What the fuck? This is awesome! It kind of makes you wish there was a hard difficulty, because look at that. We're already just, like, tearing through everything. This is fucking sick as hell. Oh! Oops. I'll just attack these because they're already like super low on health. See? Two seconds. Another gate, huh? Figures. And we need an artifact to open it, right? Right. The key is something that doesn't belong in this time. Okay. Scholars believe the paradox is a natural phenomenon. But I think it was created by man. That glowing thing has to be a weapon. Hmm. Interesting theory. Sorry, I can't deal with you right now. I'm in the middle of a can't deal with me? Oh no, he's having a crisis! Dibs! I will accept that, drugs. Is it you? We had some supply stations around here. Then they sort of disappeared. Probably another paradox side effect. Oh, so those are probably in another timeline now. Ooh! The Moogle Hunt! Occasionally you'll come across treasure spheres or other objects that are out of phase with the current timeline. Should you notice any objects hidden by a strange shimmering aura, press R1 and ask the Moogle to work his magic. Whoa! A wild artifact. What kind of trick are you pulling? I don't know. All kinds of tricks. This screw up has really dragged down the good name of our unit. The Brescia ruins five as fuck. The captain has an emergency situation on his hands. An experimental drug was lost and you find... Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's... he just walked over there. Chat, do you, is this Yuri? Is this Yuri? This right here. Is, is this Yuri? Chocobocalina! Welcome, get your traveling products here at Chocolina's Emporium. The beauty's all mine, but the products can be yours, but only if you show me the money. This might be a once-in-a-lifetime choco-amazing opportunity, so don't miss out. Um, hi there. I'm a little overwhelmed and slightly confused, to be honest. So you run a shop? <laughs> My blush toggle is not working. I'm gonna scream. The fuck? This is so important to me. I need to be able to blush right now. It's so important. Hold up. I can't let this slide. Ah! I got the controller! Oh yeah!
Ma'am? Ma'am? Uh, Chocolina is a mysterious traveling merchant who appears all along the timeline. She offers a variety of items to aid travelers. With the right components and a crafter's fee, Chocolina can even create special weapons and equipments. When browsing the shop menu for items, be sure you have the required components as well as a sufficient amount of gill. Equipping accessories will enhance a character's attributes. Oh shit, wait. I left a big fucking menu on my VTube Studio screen. <laughs> okay. Um. Um. Okay. Okay, okay. Physical, poison, imperil, curse resistance. Curse resistance sounds helpful. How much money do we have? Oh, like 3,000 gil? Geishal greens. Could use new weapons. Have a fantabulous day! I will, thank you, ma'am. Oh wow, it actually updates. Although I guess in, um, I guess in 13, it, like, did update, but not in cutscenes. So we'll see what happens here. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for being you. That does look very uncomfortable out in the rain, though. Just take care. Don't, don't catch a cold. Getting a creature that can, like, passively debuff enemies or buff us would be so sick. I would love to just have that. I wonder what this is. Because we probably got a new thingy. Oh, it's a Ravager. Never mind. I need a- I need a saboteur monster for my purposes. For my special services. Yo, I'm here to do special services! A Seath? The Brescia Ruins 5 is fuck. According to the guard Chester, a ferocious seeth has appeared, causing panic among the uh, academy staff investigating the ruins. Defeat the monster who resides in the depths of the ruins. Dude, I'll kick its ass. Dude, I can take that. Chocolina should be playable in Dissidia. I agree. Just tear these idiots apart.
Protect me, Hoplite! Fuck. Thank you, Kate Sith! Thank you! Keep us alive! He's so cute, and he's on our side. He loves us. <gasps> Get the fuck out of here. I st used to dislike the OST because it was different. I- I adore it. I don't even know, like, this shit is the best. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Chocolatus the city all should just be 100 owing the player if they like women. I'd be done. I'd be out of there. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't focus on this guy first. Focus on the healers first. What are you doing, you silly goosies? Alright, come on. fuck was that? I'm dying! Help! Kate's in! Help me! <laughs> okay. All right, back to Relentless Assault. We can just kill this guy now. Why is he so strong? Oh, I know what to do. Fucking saboteur this idiot. Oh, we have lost our monster. Okay, there we go. Let's just fucking equip that guy. Are you kidding? He was so annoying and strong. Um... Fuck. Oh, he's a sentinel. Huh. That could be very good. That could be very, very good. I want to have our commander still, but I want to replace you, I think, with Pulse Knight. Oh, that would be so good. We need Ravager, Ravager, Pulse Knight. That would be so fucking busted. Oh, that would be so busted. Wait, what the fuck? Yo. Actually, no, wait. It would need to be... Well, we can have that. But I think we should have... Ravager. Commando. Pulse Knight. And then Saboteur, Commando, Kate Sith. 
And we'll say... We'll say we need Hoplite for something. Actually, Mystic Tower sounds a little rough. I think we might want to get Hoplite in there. Okay. I, you know, I'm gonna go crazy on Saboteur. I love Saboteur, it's like my favorite fucking skill. Alright, let's do this! The pressure ruins five as fuck. Oh, same guy? Really? Or I guess he was just a different guy with the same quest. <laughs> fuck you! Hang on, I'll get him, I'll get him, I'll get him, I'll get him, I'll get him. There we go. <laughs> Alright. All right, come on. Now they're gonna focus on him while we go crazy. Oh, this is such a good build. This is such a good build. Oh my God. Do we just have this down now? I mean, obviously, you know, it's all about, like, adapting in the moment, but, like, hello? Oh, this is so awesome. I kind of don't believe how fucking sick this is. I like, I like, don't, what the fuck? Okay, let's keep it going. Wheatley? Wheatley! <laughs> Mana droplets. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Ay! <laughs> I'll get this guy, hang on! <laughs> Dude. Delta attack. Get fucked. This is so awesome. Dude, robot fight. We could just make robot fight happen whenever we want. That's what the paradigm is called. It's called robot fight. Robot fight! Is this another gate? Are these all linked to different time periods? If that's true, the timelines must be pretty tangled. Uh, listen, when did these portals first appear? Well, no one can say for sure. It's like they'd always been there, and one day we finally noticed. <laughs> so they took everyone by surprise. Either that, or someone's been hiding them. What are these gates anyway? Um, they're really useful portals. They cause the paradox effect. Hmm. 
are they constructed? They look like some sort of device. The design seems too deliberate to be natural. That's one of our theories. Like, maybe there's a foul sea we don't know about who built these gates as a way to invade Cocoon. Interesting. And I can't really interact with it? We need to find the right artifact. Right. Artifact. What? Oh. That's fine. I'll do the fun Moogle treasure hunt after. Just kill these guys. Blow them the fuck up. Light, I can't help but notice that you're kind of getting your ass kicked a little bit. Shouldn't you be at least as strong as that guy? Why are you weaker? Why are you getting your ass kicked by you? Here we go! Yay! Or should I say, why are you hitting yourself? Rune bracelet. Oh, very interesting. I like that. I think I'll keep that. Hoplite needs to hit the gym, yeah. Scared of you, Kate Sith. Oh shit, I'm scared of Kate Sith. Alright, we gotta take care of the kitty cats first. As deeply upsetting as it may be. Oh man. Come on. Come on. Come on. We gotta do damage. All right, good. Kate said that Scottish fuck from Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I guess they have the same namesake at the very least. All right, scouting party, let's do this. Deep protect, deep protect, deep protect. There it is. And now we can just destroy him, and it's easy. I noticed that all of these enemies wound, which means that they lower your maximum health. Which is scary. Damn, why is his range so crazy? And he's gone. Ooh, budding hunter? What does that do? Wait, how do I check on my trophies? Here, wait. Got 5%, we're doing great. Spent a fortune at shops. There it is. Defeated an army's worth of enemies. Already? <laughs> I already defeated an army's worth of enemies? Well, <laughs> that was easy. Who knew? Who knew we would do it by accident? Got 
got him. It's surprisingly hard to aim that. Yeah, I'm ready to do fuck off amounts of damage. Hooray! Die! Die forever! Hundreds of guys? I doubt even- I wonder what the maximum amount that I needed for that was. Because I did not kill- we just started. We just fucking started the game. World shittiest army. <laughs> okay. It's Atlas. Oh shit. Artifact? Did the device appear along with Atlas? If Atlas is a weapon built by humans, they must have designed a way to stop it. And that machine showing up is no coincidence. Right. Two the choices. Chaos Emerald! We need the Chaos Emerald! Controls Atlas. Or do it the old fashioned way. We're about to see Super Sarah! No regrets, no looking back. That was not a helpful answer, though, Mog. I hate to say it. In fact, I feel like I'd be well within my rights to accuse you of being a little bit silly. Twister, what is that? Oh shit, I fucked I fucked it up. Hey, it still did enough damage though. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, they have their own little like victory screen. Cute. More geishal greens. Gunchy greens. Thank you so much for the raid! Oh my god! I know what you are! <laughs> Happy Pride, everybody! Holy shit. Welcome, y'all! We're currently playing Final Fantasy XIII 2 for the first time. And oh my god, this game fucking owns. This is the best fucking thing I've ever seen. Um... And also, the soundtrack is fucking incredible. Uh... So yeah, this is completely blind playthrough. Welcome, y'all. Uh, thank you so much for the raid, Koo. What were y'all up to? What were you doing? Were you gaming? Like, in a gamer kind of way? Alan Wake? Oh, wow, cool. I've actually never played that. But I know, it's like, it's like the one with the... He has the flashlight, right? He's like the flashlight boy. Oh, shit, free stagger. Oh, trophy! I need to see what it is. I need to see what it is. I need to see what it is. I need. It just. It should just say in the corner. It should just say in the corner. I'm gonna check. I want to know like how I earned it. Staggering. Staggered a significant number of enemies. I'm getting. This is the beginning of the game. 
First it told me I defeated an army, and then it said I staggered a significant number of enemies. I just started, bro. I just started. How significant could it be? Not yet. I'm excited though. I want to fight that. <laughs> Fuck you. That's all the combat in the game is just dialogue after this. Dude, I would be so sad. This combat system fucking owns. It's literally, it's so fucking sick. What the fuck? I need to know what this is. I need to know what this is. How are we so good at this game? We just started. We literally just fucking started. We have two story-based trophies so far. Fought a significant number of battles without using the retry option. We've So we've just never done that. Are you fucking kidding me? Going for the plat? Yes. Yeah, I will be, probably. I don't know if I'll get the plat on stream, but I do want it actively. It's not, it takes forever to back out of this. Maybe I shouldn't, I, I'll, maybe, maybe we'll check trophies at the end of streams. But yeah, I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll go for the, Must be it. wait, wait, wait. I don't want to do story until I do the Seath quest. Excuse me. Um. But uh, I uh, I want to I want to see the Seath first before I finish the story quest. Do we know what's down this way? Orange newsboy cap. Wait, can I wear that? Oh my god. 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 Please tell me. <laughs> no? God damn it. It's the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Not being able to put a fucking newsboy hat on Sarah. Please, please don't backseat. Please don't tell me what stuff is. Please, I'm trying to play the game and have a good experience on my first try without actually knowing anything about it going in blind. So please don't tell me things about the game unless I specifically ask exactly what they are and indicate that I actually would like an audience member to tell me. Thank you. Hey, it's okay. It happens. But also, I've had to say it a lot on this stream so far, so... Please, just everybody here, uh, be mindful. We're role-playing that this game just came out. I mean, I just don't want to know about stuff before I see it, because I don't- I don't know nothing about this game. And it's important to me. The secret? What the fuck? Oh shit! That's the seed! Oh fuck! Oh, gassed? Maybe it's not the seed, but it looks like the seed. Cope seed mauled. Oh my god, it's so fucking strong. I need a medic party. D shell. D shell, D protect. Okay. 
Relentless Assault. God, he's so strong. Oh my god. Dude, the music is from the first game. This is the music from the first game. Dude, this is awesome. Fyra! Oh my god, he killed me! Oh, we win. Cool. Get well soon, Sarah. Ghast fragment. That's fucking sick as hell. I just got fucking ambushed. Star pendant. Huh? It said live. Something is supposed to happen here? Hey, Noel. Is the Atlas used in some war that happens in the future? Hmm. Let me think. Yeah. I remember this. Are you forgetting stuff? My memories are unreliable. There are events I should remember, but my memory is hazy, like I'm seeing them through fog glass. But not this time. I remember this one. There was a war, hundreds of years before I was born. That's when Cocoon crashed into Pulse. Oh, shit. I should ask about the pillar. So not for centuries yet. If we travel to the future, maybe we can stop it. Who's to say what's possible? That could be the reason we're here in the first place. I want to know about Fang and Vanille. I need to know that they're okay. Staggering super fucking fast. Alright, let's kill it. Is that it. Oh! Died in zero seconds. So was that the Seath that I killed? Let's let's ask this guy. He'll know. This assault is probably what we need. Yeah, I need an update on my pillar, my pillar gaze for Pride Month. That one scene kept waking that guy up in the middle of the night by constantly playing loud drum and bass. <laughs> it's the only way he's able to sleep. It's not his fault. All right. I know there's some other quests here, but the seed one was the big one that I wanted to find for sure. We also have to find the, the strange medicine or whatever that they're missing. Twister, baby! Yeah. 
What did that do? I guess it did damage, it seems like. Also, I love that the robot has a feral link attack. My fucking robot can go feral. <laughs> Get disintegrated and incinerated. Hooray! All robots can? I didn't realize. All right, big diamond. Your Moogle friend has turned off the game. Where are we? A time labyrinth, Koopal. Oh yeah, a time labyrinth. Paradox. Oh, no. Marcy Stardust, thank you for the follow. What the fuck? Oh, okay, board game time. The void beyond harbors extra dimensional spaces known as temporal rifts. To escape a temporal rift, you must unravel the mystery set forth by the crystals and resolve the presented anomaly. This particular rift features a disappearing floor. Any tile you pass over will fade into nothingness, so think carefully about the route you must take to collect all the crystals before reaching the exit portal. <laughs> okay, puzzle time. Easy. Oh, shit. Easy every time. neat little mini game not too freaking shabby if you fucking hecking goddamn ask me why do i have nine discord messages i'm always i i always have to check i hate checking midstream because it's a distraction but also like i have to or else i'll go insane i don't like seeing the little red notification thing on discord Okay, I did it. It was nothing. Hooray! Dude, it levitates diamonds! Hope this actually lets us control Atlas. All we can do is pray. Please work. We've activated the science! <laughs> Yay! Oh, finally! Can you hear me now? It looks like Atlas is starting to slow down a little. Sounds like we did something. Time to kill it! I run like that. I don't know if you know that chat. I don't know if you've ever seen me in real life, but I run that way. Actually,
Actually, I run like Vanille in, in 13. Where she like swings her arms out. That's how I run everywhere. Damn, we need to like grind or something. These fights are uh, very tough. Although we aren't we aren't healing very often, which I guess is part of it. That's that's just the run cycle that all women have. You sound so earnest, but you're saying like horrible shit. Yeah, you can unlock different run cycles as a woman, but they are behind a paywall. Just figure it's fair to warn y'all. Stop getting your ass kicked, Kate Sith. Okay. As a healer, Kate Sith is clearly, like, not very strong. Like, terrible health pool. Please heal yourself instead of Noel. You're the one who's almost dead. All right, that's fine, that's enough. Someone sure wasted their time and hard-earned money making something that big. <laughs> I don't like seeing She's materials so... go to waste like that. But She's hey, so... what can I do? I can open up my shop. That's what I can do. She... Good without these. We're good without these too. We don't really need anything. I think we're fan. I think we're fantastic. I think you we're fine. I'm counting on you. Everyone is. Did Coco lead us sit here? <laughs> no, stop. Oh my god. The reports say you handled that piece in the ruins. Now I can sleep at night. Desperately hoping Chocolina uh, NPC appears in 14. Uh, straight up, I wish there was any reference to the 13 games other than the reused animations and the uh, Mog Station stuff. Uh, like, I'm waiting for the expansion that has tons of Final Fantasy 13 shit in it. That That's my ideal if it ever comes. Even like a raid series would be like fine. I just, I just want it. I just want it so bad. The sniffing noises. I was hyperventilating. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God, I just hyperventilate when I see uh, women in video games. I just want anything. I just want anything other than the reused assets. It's what I deserve. Final Fantasy VIII got a huge raid series that was like filled with references and awesome fucking battles and mounts and shit. Final Fantasy VIII has had its fucking time in the sun.
Which one was the 8 series? They're called the Eden Raids. They're part of Shadowbringers, and they are, uh... Well? Gay. We learned that all Seeth were once normal human beings, and their only salvation lies in a merciful death. No way that was FF8? Yeah. Yeah. All of that. All of that was FF8. And all the cutscenes are just filled to the brim with, like, like direct parallels to cutscenes from uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Eight is the best one out of the two I played. Please play more. <laughs> not that, not that it's not good. It's just that there's so many better Final Fantasy games, like Thirteen, for example. Uh, Eight is decent. It definitely has like the worst battle system, in my opinion. Um, at least out of the ones that I've played. I haven't played 15, but I hear people don't like that one very much either. Hi! If it's the giant you want to take down, then take a look around. <laughs> She's so enthusiastic. I love her. I love her. She's the best. She's the best character in the game. You know I am going to... I'm going to take a uh, phoenix down, actually. Plus, I just want to give you money, ma'am. Wait, what? Wait, I have 16 Phoenix Downs? I didn't need to do that at all! You know I'm counting on you. Oh, she's counting on me. There he is. And not looking too happy. That's okay, I'll just kill him. I grew up with eight, so I kind of like it by default, but I also think that, like, trying to replay it recently made me realize that, like, wow, that that fighting system, the the junction system, that is a that is a tough sell, personally. We definitely need to use Saboteur on this guy. Oh, no, I didn't shield that at all. He's not getting deshelled. Oh, that is not my fucking sentinel command. I I removed my fucking sent team sentinel command. Why did I do that? Shit. Okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we're about to die. Okay, Hang on, we're almost there. Please, please. Oh, thank God. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> please, please, please. Please, 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 please. Controller down. This is fucking anxiety inducing. Oh my god. How did we get here? No, look out. Okay. Okay. Just throw her. 
I think I found his weak spot. This looks like a homing Wait. attack. Do it. Wait for it. Now. Let's fucking go. I'll take it. Holy shit. Whoa. Now what? The paradox is dissipating. But I think there might be someone out there derailing history and bending the timeline. I do that. Atlas and these gates are appearing out of nowhere. Um. I'm stuck between X and O. I think X. Is this why Cocoon has been destroyed in your future? Huh. I hadn't <clears throat> thought of that possibility. You're saying that I was born in some kind of alternate timeline? If that's true, then is someone trying to destroy the pillar? And is lightning trying to stop them? I'm trying to destroy the pillar because I want to see Fang and Vanille again. Alyssa, we took Atlas down. That place you were looking for is right in front of us. <laughs> Okay. Let's get in there. There's an epitaph. An epitaph! Here lie the innocent victims of chance, cast out and cast down. May their souls find the path that leads them home. Cast out. These must be victims of the purge. This is it! This is the place! Hey, kid. High five that statue. I thought I might be... But that's not my name. Then whose is it? Kubo. It's my friend's. She died here, running from the perch. And me? I'm one of those who survived. Five years ago, the entire town of Bodum, it was wiped out by the army. I was there, visiting my friend. Then everything went to hell. We ran and hid with the other fugitives. But just as the troops were pulling out, that's when the ceiling of our hiding place collapsed. Since then, I've had the same dream. I'm trapped under rubble. It's dark. I'm in pain. Oh, girl. Oh, no. I barely breathe. The next thing I know, I rise out of my body. And I'm standing before this grave. And the name written on the stone. It's mine. <laughs> After seeing that image so oh, many man. times, I started to think that maybe I did die back then, and the life I'm living now is just an illusion. Oh, fuck! That way too. That's how Sarah fe Oh huh? my god! <laughs> no!
Bro, are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me right now? How did that just happen? The system just fucking turned off. It auto saves, but I don't know when the last one was. Hang on a second. I need to I need to get Penny's attention really quick. I'll be right back.
Hello? Chat? You with me? Hey, so here's here's the deal. Um it's kind of seeming like this is gonna require more than just a little bit of troubleshooting. Uh the issue might be with the console and I even if even if we can get it back up and running. Um, you know, Penny's got a lot of files on there that she would need to back up before we kept playing the game. Um, so, uh, I think we're going to wrap up stream tonight here. I know it's kind of not the best note to wrap up on, but I figure, uh, we can figure things out, get, get shit, like, we'll probably, I'll probably get it on a different console, um, and catch up to where we were, um, just to uh just to make sure that it, it like functions properly and i'm not like bricking a console over it um i know it's on steam but it doesn't the pc version doesn't work um either way though um we will get back to this i am obviously still dedicated to making this my like pride month special um you did enable cloud saves with ps plus but that that's the thing is that 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 updates once per night at like 4 a.m. So if the console can't turn on, then it's not going to import cloud saves for me. Um, so either way, uh, we're probably done for the night. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at some fan art um, and uh, we can get y'all out of here. Uh, the raid phrase. Before we look at fan art, the raid phrase is, of course, going to be, um, hang on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta look up the exact verbiage. Yeah, no, I, I, I hope it's all right, too, because it, uh, obviously, <laughs> I mean... I got my Dragon Quest saves on here. Yeah, it's important. It's important that it works um, for a numerous amount of reasons. Um, our rate phrase is, my life is nothing I thought it should be. Hang on. <laughs> and everything I was worried it would become. Because for 50 seconds, I thought. Am I not fit? <laughs> there was monsters on the world. Just me. And an emote. All right, that's the raid phrase. That's it. That's our that's our <laughs> that's our raid phrase. Um All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull up fan art see if we got anything for our little Pride Month special and we'll figure out a way to get back to Final Fantasy 13. It may or may not be on the PS3. We'll We'll have to figure all that out as time goes on. Um, ooh, oh my god. That is super adorable. Hang on one second, chat. I just want to check to see if there's anything on Discord as well. As well. All right, cool. Um, so just the one piece of fan art, but it's super great. Take a look at this. Not this. <laughs> not, not the no signal <laughs> sign. Take a look at this. It's amazing. No signal. Um, oops. It's all sprungest up. Uh, this is by. Because it's dollop, so it's by. Get it? Uh, this is by NT Dragon on Twitter. Uh, thank you so much. It's uh it's me as uh Sarah from from Hit Game of Final Fantasy. This is super cute. I love this outfit. This is awesome. Thank you so much. This is like super adorable. I love the expression. The pose is great and the outfit is great. Thank you so much for this wonderful art. 
It's a wonderful, wonderful art. Um, all right. With that, I think we're going to get out of here. Sorry again for the technical difficulties, but the series is not over. I would never, ever let this series end before we finish the game. So we'll get this figured out and we'll come back uh, next time and get everything figured out. I do have some fun streams planned, uh, but uh, I am going to keep them a secret for now because I don't have days and times for everything yet. So please look forward to fun collabs, fun streams, all that good stuff uh, later on this month. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll catch y'all later. Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. Um, what are we listening to? Probably this one. <laughs>